the only thing that happened in this episode that I thought was just the dumbest thing in the in the world was when Sayu asked Yoshida yeah. if he was really going to come with her to her parents' place while they were on the plane flying there. And I thought, like, he just been like, we, nah, bitch, this is all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I saw that and heard that, I was like, do we, do we really need to be having this conversation right now, like, at this part? Welcome to the Anime Izuka Podcast, week 11 of the spring 2021 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Shren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo. Next up, we have Taylor. Hello. And finally, we have Justin. Hey, guys. All right. So a uh, quick piece of anime news. A uh, big one that was announced last weekend, uh, Tanya Saga the Evil got second season. Ooh. So hype for that. Uh, it's been a while since the movie, so I guess it's not surprising that they announced season two, no. but it's still, still good. We didn't get any date, though, right? did I'm sorry, what? I said we didn't get any date, though, did we? I don't for think season so. Two? But just an announcement? Just, you just assume like a year or mm-hmm. like we'll nine be months too long. a year. Oh, uh, I don't know if this like how big of news this is, but I just saw the Final Fantasy IX game is oh, yeah, going to get an animated, animated series. Like a children's <laughs> really animated, like a children's animated series. I don't know if they're going to do that. So hmm. why? Just just why? Why? I will, I will I will check it out just out I'm of pure curious, curiosity. But I don't have my expectations. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Keep the bar low. Oh, don't act like you're not interested to see what Vivi looks like. <laughs> they're just going to ruin it and just ruin my memories. That's I'm all I'm curious. afraid. Wow. God, so negative. Yeah. Anything of... Final Fantasy and actual like anime never goes well. Hey, there's there's I always that first. Children was okay. <laughs> no, 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 that, that, that is the one. Well, from fine. a movie yeah. standpoint, any like yeah. series standpoint, they've tried to do. Yeah, that's true. Rough, rough. Yeah. Also, um, <laughs> old hope. <laughs> there's there's a there was a Netflix anime that came out this week. Records of uh, Ragnarok that. God. Oh my god, awful. Attention. That is um, another time that I would say go read the manga. That's the what they I'm did hearing. with the Netflix series is I, so bad. I just feel for feel bad for, for Brian because this was such a Brian show and hmm. like it's, it's got, yeah. It could have been potential for him, man. But we just need Brian. Brian will hype it up for us. Only to be disappointed. It's definitely a, a, a fun that's, show that's, to say the least, but that's cruel. <laughs> the animation does not back up the the level of fight quality that's in the manga, so. Oof, oof. Right. So, so that's like the main uh, big news. Oh, and also, I'll probably keep mentioning too, um, we're switching formats as well. So after spring season, we're going to switch to, uh, instead of doing weekly discussions of each episode, we're going to do uh, one show per episode. So uh, first week of summer, I think it's like in two weeks for now, we're going to probably just do a big summer preview. And then we'll start uh, doing uh, one uh, show for episode focus so before that you can tell what happens so last uh season we're gonna do it so that out of the way let's move on to our main show let's talk about the first one shadow's house hey, taylor you Ooh. were here last year so yeah i know we didn't last, have taylor last week, week so, so we need last week was a thoughts. bad week last week was a bad week to miss yep. <laughs> for shadow's house yeah wow they really had a massive lore dump i really like the fact that it all it like feels very cohesive. I like the amount of information they're giving us and at the pace that they're giving us. I really like this week's episode having a little bit more of an internal monologue from Kate and where she's mm-hmm. coming from. Um, I will say that this brainwashing coffee is creepy as shit. Um, I mean, it's a creepy show, I, so... <laughs> yeah. I, I really like... I like that as like a method. Um, I kind of like that Kate figured out to have her drink water. I thought that scene was really well done and felt very intense. Dude, that- um, it seems, yeah, it was intense. And like we see you're constantly like mm-hmm. you go up the water. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, it was a lot. Overall, just still really loving the show. I'm actually just getting a little bit sad that we only have a couple episodes left because I'm not ready to leave this show behind at all. I mean, are you gonna read the manga, right. I'm assuming, after Well, I don't know. I looked it up and there's only eighty nine chapters for the manga, which doesn't really feel like enough to warrant jumping into it, because then I'm just gonna be I'll read it in like a day and then want more anyway. And now you're just gonna be waiting each week for the new chapters and everything. (laughs) So yeah, yeah, I I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, I just wanna say like 
and I'm like the worst at predicting how things end up like because I've been saying I've been trying to say oh they're not really humans I think they're gonna go go on go a route where like they keep making you think they're humans but they're not nope I was mm-hmm. totally wrong <laughs> so that's on me yeah they're humans and I was trying to think back through I felt like there was like one or two things that had happened with Emilico that had made me think, oh no, she can't be human. Like maybe it was just because of that huge fall. I mean, that, like it's, you were you were a human, you'd die. Yeah, like mm-hmm. the, the fall from the room, and also like the fall during the the debut trial too. Like I just assumed she was a doll. That's why she survived. I don't know how they explain that. I mean, I guess they were just some really cushy bush- bushes. Yeah. I don't know, but <laughs> right. uh, and like I felt like she wasn't like e- I felt like she wasn't eating or drinking very much either. Like I remember yeah. the bread scene where she first had the bread stood out, yeah. but I thought that was yeah, like, oh, right. Really you never see eat. anybody be like malnutritioned or anything. So, but maybe Definitely. there's something they do with them where they don't have to meet all their same biological needs they normally would. I don't know. But... Mm, that's an interesting thought. I, I I totally agree. I'm I'm loving the direction that you know the show's continuing to take, and you know they're not revealing anything too quickly, which is really great. Like you said, the the pacing is is kind of spot on with with the show so far. Um, I really liked kind of the um, I don't know what the word to use for it is, but kind of the like excitement that you see from villagers who are like want mm-hmm. their like their goal is to have their kids you know be brought into the mm-hmm. shadows house and everything and like. You know, little do they know, you know, how dark of a kind of reality that environment truly is. So I, I kind of love like the juxtapositions of things there um, that we got to see, especially in, in this week's episode with kind of just the world being expanded further and, and outside of the Shadow House itself. Um, but no, I'm, I'm totally excited for, you know, kind of the the things to come where they're now, you know, kind of banding together and and going on their way to confront Edward and, and retrieve Amilico um from you know wherever she currently is right now um and then the only other thing that i love this week and i know we touched on it a little bit was um you know kate realizing what needed to be done to um bring amilico out of the brainwashing with the drinking of water and everything and the flooding of kind of their their system in that and that shadow tea but i loved how sean and john just went their own unique approach to, to them, you know knock, right. literally knocking him out of you know the hypnosis so i thought that was really great and really fitting you know to these different yeah. characters so yeah i really i totally agree with that and like speaking on uh face relationships with shadows like i'm still really loving the continued development between kate and Emilico. i'm happy that they're not at odds with each other i'm also kind of happy that it seems like the sh- these younger r- like amateur shadows are going to be kind of on the same page and working together. I was a little bit skeptical of Louise when she came in because she was like so excited that she was using her her um soot to control I can't remember her face's name, but um I was like that seems a little read the room, Louise. Like everybody's <laughs> talking about like how this is bad. And mm-hmm. she's just like, I can control her completely. So I thought she was gonna turn out to be not on their side. And I think we still need to wait to see. But I kinda like the fact that there's not like drama from that angle. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um so so yeah, liking that aspect. I although I was a little bit confused about Edward. Like, was it actually Edward? Because what we saw for the person at the end didn't look like Edward. I don't remember. So yeah, no, I, I vaguely remember that as well. So it'll be interesting to see because you know I think like we've always said, Edward is this character that I still feel has a lot of depth to him that we haven't seen yet. I mean, we got little bits and pieces from kind of his orchestration of the debut and then also the side of the royals above him that don't really, you know, have the fondest taste for him. Mm -hmm. Um, So it'll definitely be interesting to see, you know, if Amilico really was taken by Edward um, or if it's going to be something kind of deeper at play Mm -hmm. now. So like you said, I can't wait for the episodes to come. And it's so sad that we only have, you know, so few episodes left definitely gonna gonna leave a void when it comes to that final moment for where they leave us off yeah definitely yeah, yeah i'll just do a fi- uh, final shout out to just the lore and the world building because uh there's they've been like you know slowly just revealing it and kind of usually at this point uh sometimes it gets a little less exciting when you know them in the mystery but like there's still a lot that like that feels like we don't know and like there's still more like it makes us want more so i definitely a shout out to the show for uh for creating that so yeah actually before we move on though i do have one question for you guys did we at one point see how kate knows all of this stuff that the other people didn't know i know that she has that book but i thought that was just a book that was in 
the manor. And most of the information that she was talking about that she revealed wasn't even in that book anyways. The stuff about them being human and whatnot. Yeah, I was a little confused about that. Like, how she did learn all these things. I don't think they revealed it yet. The only thing I'm guessing is maybe she didn't, like, drink the coffee. And she started seeing, like, people's weird behavior. So maybe because of that, she noticed something was off. And she she just, like, was curious. And that's what led to things. So that's, like, I think I'm thinking. I mean, yeah, there's obviously still much more that meets the eye with Kate. Because she's always been kind of the, you know, outlier in the mm-hmm. equation here but i agree oh, yeah. with you taylor like from the the leaps that they made with how quickly she was able to kind of figure things out i felt like if i did have to pick at anything that would be something and then just in the sense of like maybe we don't know yet as a yeah, viewer, i don't think they of sh- how that kind of came together. In the show yet so i wasn't really too worried about it okay just yeah. want to make sure i didn't miss so, anything no we'll we'll, we'll see because with the next couple of episodes see you they should reveal it so cool so, yeah so i think that's gonna be it for shadow's house Move on to our next show. Let's talk about Vivi, which, by the way, was the season the season finale. So, oh man, <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you do a double header, you know, reveal at the beginning of the season. You wrap up sooner. It was worth it though. She got us all uh, invested into the show. Yeah, at least the beginning. I don't know about how you guys felt towards the end of it. I don't know, just like, uh, like the singing was <clears throat> epic, but at the same time, like the ending just felt very anticlimactic. Like she just sang, really? and then it it ended. That's not just how I felt about it. I don't know. Like I still just don't get the point of the show. Like what was like the message <laughs> I was trying to tell us besides the g- g- general Oof, like, sci-fi? It's the same, AI man. Things. Humans and AIs can be friends through the power of music. All right, that's all you need to know. <laughs> like, yeah, through an AI song. <laughs> I took it a step further than you, David. I both thought it was anticlimactic and I thought the song was super mid, considering the fact she's been writing this song for like 50 years. I was like, this is the best to come up with. Like... Ooh, sure. that's rough. I, thought oh, the, I, thought, I thought the song sounded pretty good. Um, but yeah. I definitely want to, uh, I want to get a ringtone or a, an alarm of like the AIs when they're doing like their chanting singing. Oh, so I think that would wake my ass up pretty quick. Yeah. No, you just have nightmares. Yeah. Or maybe I just hide under the covers and just not go. Over. I don't know if I'm just like. <laughs> I don't know what the word again to use is like not pessimistic, but it's like I honestly didn't really feel very bad for anybody in this show. Like I never really got yeah. much attachment to anyone. And, and maybe that's because, you know, of how short a show it is and how they had to, you know, jump from um, kind of event to event over the years. But even at the end, when, you know, they were doing the song and they were showing like all the moments that, you know, we have a viewer have seen from um, Vivi and Matsumoto's journey and stuff. I was kind of just like, ah, you know, OK. Like, I get what they're trying to do and, like, kind of the emotional impact there. But for me, I was just, like, I wouldn't say, like, I didn't care, but it was just, like, okay, no, cool. I, like, I, I totally get this you. Was, like, this I, was I, anticlimactic, I, like you both said. And, I feel the same. you know, I think everybody saw it a mile coming with, with <laughs> how the episodes were kind of ramping up. The, I think the, it was just one of those plots that try, was trying to, like, masquerade as being really deep, but wasn't actually that deep. And I think that, like, I mean, it wasn't even that short of a show. Like, just even talking about Shadow's House, that's only 11 episodes out. And I would say that you and I are probably both way more invested in those characters. Like, if something were to happen yeah. to them, I'd be pretty yeah. sad. But, <laughs> but again, if anything I, happened to Vivi. Yeah, but again, your David. point, Taylor. Like, again, that's why, like, I feel like I don't I don't understand the point of the show. That's why I keep saying this season. I the, think I was the only one that thought it was okay or liked it. I, I did too. I did too. It, but it's like, I'm I'm not about the ending. This. like the ending in general. Well, no, honestly, mm. I thought the ending, like overall, like with what they had, I guess, like it, it wasn't mm. being animated original, 13 episodes. I mean, there's been a lot worse. And well, for uh, also okay. shows who've had a lot more time than 13 episodes, and sure. also like an original, like, uh, kind oh, of, for um, sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, th- that's. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, no, go ahead. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I'm I'm going like way off topic for my next thing. So, go for <laughs> okay. it. I mean, I, I think uh, the the point of the show I feel is is can an AI become human, right? Can it have like, its own thought process? So much, can it be creative? We've had that so many times, and it just like didn't bring anything new. So, what what do you mean? Like, just the, the general all, all the stuff about like yeah, AIs can they be human? What is a heart? Like, mm-hmm. how do you? What's it mean to pour your heart into something? I don't know. Like. Yeah, I mean, the, the plot is very cliche, and I'm sure, like, it's been on a million times. Like I said, Terminator 2 was a great movie. You know, I'm glad <laughs> to see it again in anime form. Uh, but, I mean, for, for what I was trying to pull across, I, I get it. Uh, it wasn't, like, the greatest. Uh, I would have preferred my ending that I threw out last week. Uh, I thought it would have been more um, Different. eventful. Yeah, more <laughs> more uh, more exciting to watch, right? 
Uh, but for what it did, I think it was actually pretty good, you know? Uh, the only thing that I didn't enjoy about this last episode was when uh, Vivi was singing her song, right? Um, the the, the, the limp sync wasn't there, right? It was basically just a song in the background as she was singing on stage and then Bang. cut to the cutscenes of what was going on. I would have actually much preferred it if she would just have the moment for her to sing to kind of get like the uh, like the full effect of the like the emotional thought process, how she was feeling, like her journey in general as an AI these past hundred years. Um, I, I think the, the point of the story is if an AI is capable of coming up with something original, like a song, for instance, that, that does show that AIs are capable of becoming more human-like, if given the chance. But Although I it took 100 plus years. I feel like it didn't really, they didn't treat your character really as an AI. They just kept treat your just like, like any other like humanoid like like A mission AI. So right. It's like, right. I, didn't, I didn't feel that thing for like, where it was like an AI who didn't understand what I mean. Like she felt they, they, she felt pretty human. So I didn't, I didn't feel like that that sense of what they were trying to go for for that. For the AI. I, I think we're. I, I think you might be overlooking the significance of the fact that an AI was able to write an original song from from scratch because that's sure. really significant. Yeah, no, I. I and then like. That. And then like even the end, right? Because the like I think it's a supposed to uh, like signify as well that because the robots when they were singing the song, all they could sing was la 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 and like that that deathly like eerie tone. This melody, yeah. Right. But at the very end she went from la 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 to ah ah ah, right? And made it more sound more human like. Something that's more cheerful, something that doesn't make you like be fearful <laughs> of the night, right? <laughs> <laughs> So I think that's what it was supposed to uh, signify that you know AIs can become human and that uh, you know there is definitely potential there and mm -hmm. the fact that she was able to create something from scratch as an AI, you know, shows that you know that's it's, it's definitely possible and it's promising. So and it was also yeah. like showing like her experiences like basically either whether they were good or bad, basically like loss, um, mm -hmm. and basically when she was doing like that whole kind of like flash, like you know, flashing into like basically all the mm -hmm. people that she's run into. Whether like uh, they survived or died, I think they pretty much all died. But yeah, I mean, I mean I, yeah, like No, and then, and then like one last thing is, I kind of wish they would have brought back the doctor that created Vivi, right? Uh, because she did oh, get a question out there. Right. Yeah, we only got her. to see her in one scene, and just like you know, oh yeah, right. So Let's I was kind of hoping test. for that, <laughs> but I mean, we didn't see it, so it's, it's kind of whatever. But yeah. I mean, it's it's okay. It was an okay ending, but it, I yeah, wish we would have gone a different route. I think right. at the end of the day, like the show's obviously it's not bad. It's just mm -hmm. a show that, you know, could have done some things better and, and does kind of rest on the laurels of a lot of other, you know, cyborg AI human kind of relationships and the ideology of like is a cyborg more mm -hmm. than just a, a cyborg or whatever. And can it, you know, actually show human emotions? And I think this is a show like if I knew if I was recommending it to somebody and I knew they hadn't seen a lot of like human ai type media either through films or other shows then i think this would be a good show for someone mm -hmm. like that it may have you know some surprises and and turns um but for somebody who's seen you know a lot of different stuff similar to this media then i think it is something where at the end of the day not bad not phenomenal just a mid show and i don't think it's anything that's going to be you know remembered or like be a be a standout um because yeah you think of like you know you have terminator which obviously much more action oriented and all that <laughs> stuff you have you have i robot which literally does like the same you have all these sh you know shows that that kind of push the envelope in different ways um and this show i felt it didn't really push the envelope in in any specific regard it kind of played it safe but mm, um yeah i don't know i think if anything i probably enjoyed matsumoto's character the most yes. just be once we did learn of his actual like human counterpart and which you know he was created by so i mean in a sense he was changing yeah. and caring for you know things as well like that was outside of his mission where he actually i think genuinely cared about vivi mm. uh yeah. but yeah he was going to be like one of the comments I was, or i was just going to say is like uh, he was probably the one character that if he like if he were to die i would have uh, i would have actually felt pretty bad but then we saw him you know at the end of the credits like he was whether or not if it's actually still him or if they just recreated matsumoto in a sense because they don't really wow. uh same thing with vivi because they don't really you know, tell us anything. Right. Besides, Do you yeah. feel the ending scene really added anything at the end of the day? No, I basically just left it open ended. I mean, in a sense, you could think like I think it just gives the people the question, like you know, is it still Vivi or if it's like a different Vivi? Like, you know, did they kind of bring them back? Like, just but like if they're still them or if they're you know just 
I guess like a, I guess like maybe a copy of them, but not actually mm-hmm. them. I, I don't know. I'm having a tough I time. Wondering, I was wondering if it was supposed to be some sort of like half-assed attempt at like, oh, and now they're going to start the same cycle all over again. I, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, I, don't that's what I think they were doing, but I, I don't know. Like it was such a kind of like weak some ending. sequel material right there. Yeah, that's yeah. what they were thinking. That was the purpose of that scene. No. I don't know. I, I felt like it did. Uh, uh, because with the whole la 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 to ah ah ah, I think it signified that it was a happy ending in a sense, right? Mm-hmm. Well, no more menacing. I mean, it's robots. obviously there for a purpose, right? I think it could have right. ended either way. It could have ended with you know, Vivi singing her song, and I don't know. It's just an interesting thing to think about. Because what if it was Vivi singing her song, and then at the end we see you know Vivi collapse, and we don't know what happened, yeah. mm-hmm. and then that well, leaves you you know a bigger question of was it all for naught or? It you seemed know. like it was a different Vivi, though, because that Vivi seemed way too happy. <laughs> or unless they could have been just happy because it was all over. Who knows? I mean, she had a different haircut, so completely different. Say, her, she had a way better hair, so maybe she was just... <laughs> yeah, she was, uh, she was looking pretty good there at the end. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, do you guys... I just have one question. Uh, would Do you think the show could have been better or would have been better with more episodes? Like, Let's say if they gave it, like... Yeah, uh, I think it would have. I mean, I feel like... They, like... Actually, like the beginning of May, they're jumping around a lot with like the time skips. Yeah, plus I still remember that. that. Plus that one filler. So I think to Ku's point, if they did have more episodes, it would have been better to see, you know, more of the creator of yeah. Vivi and get to learn more about, you know, the actual like organization itself that builds all these AIs and robots. Because mm-hmm. all we really ever saw was Toke and then yeah. that kind of uh, organization. Um, but I don't know. I feel like if there were more episodes, you'd just be inserting like more people that you get to see for like, you know, an episode or two. And then kind of like, as I was saying, like, you don't really gain much attachment for individuals when you're only seeing them, right. you know, but, in such a short length or short burst with how the time travel mechanic is being utilized. Well, I was and thinking like if, if there were more episodes, they could have maybe, yeah, they could have maybe slowed the, they could have maybe slowed it down. You know, they could have actually maybe spent more time in those situations. Because I remember like, was it at the end of the second episode where uh, you know, like the, we see like the vi- and where well, it wasn't actually a vision, but it was actual. Uh, where the that plane got shot down with that girl, and we all thought like it was some sort of like, or I'm not, not I should just say me. I thought it was like a mind battle or something like in his head going on, but no, they actually just <laughs> straight up skipped that amount of time. You, you and your your Reddit threads. Yeah, I know, days. right? I basically I went way way down like a uh, <laughs> fucking rabbit hole because of that. I was like, all right, I'm, for nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid. It was fun, but I was like, I'm just gonna avoid Reddit for now. <laughs> I really feel like it would have benefited from more episodes. Uh, it definitely would have made it worse, for sure. Yeah, I agree. The only thing I'll say, too, I, I guess I'll do quick. The one thing I'll say is, man, that, that giant tower that controls everything and has the archive, you do not have, that's not, that's not good design, man. You, you don't have one giant <laughs> thing that controls everything. You spread it out into, like, thousands of data centers. Oh, man, the, the aesthetic, cloud. man. It looks cool. It's so vulnerable <laughs> to, like, have one big thing controlling everything. That's, that's not... All right, David, mind. you create your own tower, and then we'll see how it compares, no, that's all right? That's my second point. <laughs> obviously, after the whole discussion, obviously, we need to create our own Izakaya Studios chatbot, and we're going to teach it uh, in lyrics. <laughs> And and it's 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 programming Python, so get on that trend. Ooh, damn! As we know, I was terrible I at Python. It. Yeah, yeah. So get on that trend. <laughs> uh, I I don't think I really have anything else. But uh, yeah. I mean, overall, like I actually, I mean, I actually enjoyed the the show. I could I thought it could have been way worse. I thought it was a lot better than um, a lot of other anime original shows. So they had that going for it, and, and I do actually mm-hmm. think for me, I will remember this show just because I don't like I've I've never been a big fan of sci fi shows. Or uh-huh. sci-fi anime, I should say. Um, and this is probably one of the few I've watched. So unless like uh, I start just all of a sudden just binging a bunch of sci-fi anime shows, I think I'll, I'll probably remember this one for a while. For well, for what say- it is, uh, for for what it is, it it had no right to have such good fight animations mm-hmm. for what the show was. I mean, that's just <laughs> Wit Studio flexing. That's Wit Studios. <laughs> So that's the thing, like, like I think too. Our, um, well, I guess Taylor, you go first because you were going to say something. I don't want to do. Oh, oh no, I was just going to say, yeah, I, 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 I was basically if we were talking about like overall thoughts, I was just going to say uh, overall, I thought it was totally average. There was nothing about it that made me angry. Nothing I was really mad at. There, there was just nothing that really stood out to me either. I feel neutral about it, and probably two anime seasons from now, I'll probably have forgotten about it. <laughs> so my overall the thought. nature of the industry nowadays, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But um. No, the kind of to your point, Ku, with the, the animations and everything, I feel like the show definitely got carried 
by you know both the the author mm-hmm. and wit studio that they got brought to it so you know even still with it being an, a, a, an above average for an anime original i think if it didn't have you know the big backing that it did have it'd be super mid Dude, I, I, like on the really lower side. I, I, I really like the music well. that it's the three zero writer it, like because it just doesn't feel like him so like mm. Yeah. I mean, I like that though. I like that you're not getting the same vibe, and he's not. You know, he's doing something different. I guess, yeah. even though you mm-hmm. know, we're saying it's it's kind of a trope show with what it focuses on. But mm-hmm. at least from the author and what he does in Re Zero, it is a good departure. So you're not yeah. seeing a lot of the similar kind of things being utilized. This is better than Re Zero. <laughs> and then I'll just oh. say the str- I'll just say <laughs> the strength the strength earlier point. Like, there's not that much sci-fi like animes nowadays. Like that could be it too. Like, then yeah, exactly. there's so yeah. much fantasy. It's not. There's so much fantasy. Yeah, so, so I think that in in a sense that's why I'll, I'll probably remember it. Uh, you bring for back a bit the space operas. Yes, but I, I, like the music was and, really good in this as well. And Evangelion for Johan. Yeah, but anyway, oh, like, no. Yeah, that's gonna that be it for for VV. Might come back to it later for like one of our, for our focus episodes, but we'll see that later so yeah i wouldn't mind mm-hmm. yeah it'd be That's good it. to rank it against other sci-fi shows because there aren't a lot of like oh boy i don't watch many so we could try <laughs> like psycho pass is the only other big one but anyways on to the next show <laughs> yeah so that's gonna be it we want to our show let's talk about 86 Wait, Science Gate, justin <laughs> sorry, oh Gate, too, sorry sorry how could i forget i was like how i feel like this is a major one <laughs> i'm, I'm sure i'm gonna get a comment for that of just like man how how you know, Gate. Those Stein. green gooey bananas. I mean, Steins Gate is great, but then when they did Steins a- Steins Gate Zero, I was like, "Oh man, I don't know." So they just have fun. It's like, <laughs> well, it's like, what if everything went wrong? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, just, that's we can leave that for a special. Just, just don't ask Ryan or Sasha about Steins Gate. <laughs> nope, don't do it. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about eighty six. Okay, actually, I, actually, yeah. And yeah, so was this the last episode too, or was that supposed yes. to be like? So it's technically the last episode, but it's gonna be a special next yeah. week. Okay. Yeah. And actually, oh, next week. And actually, okay. on my anime list, David, you would know where to find the information about this, but there is a listing <laughs> for the second season on there. Oh. It doesn't have like a date or anything else, but there is a second season listing. Okay. What? Okay. Yeah. I told you that. <laughs> this will hold me off from reading confirmed. the light novels because I was definitely itching to go and do that. <laughs> I don't remember seeing any like news about it. I mean, I, yeah, I see it on I anime list. Yeah. Um, yeah. Supposedly, it was leaked that it was a second season confirmed, and then oh, they had to like delete it right away. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody got fired. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's all good. So, may- TBD, I guess, but. I would I would be really happy if there was a second season because like I was kind of lukewarm about this first season. I feel like there was a lot of stuff I really wanted to love. Mm. Um, for example, it seemed like the cast could have been pretty good, but we had such a short amount of time with each of them that like, I, I mean, they were almost all dead before I even realized they were gone. Like I'd forgotten they even existed. They were like going going so quick, and even oh. at the very end, like I knew the blonde guy was a little bit, you know, he had a short temper. I I knew the blonde or the silver haired girl had some sort of previous trauma, but I didn't know much else. Yeah. I knew that Kurana liked Shin, and that those are pretty much the only like singular facts I knew about any of them. Mm-hmm. And so like that was pretty rough for me. Just us, th- th- like that lack of connection. Well, I don't know if fine, you guys agree with they're that. all dead now, so. Well, yeah, right, it's like uh, why have them up the there next to begin with? Um, and then, like for me, I thought I thought this this very last episode was actually pretty good because I kind of enjoyed seeing everything from Lena's perspective because I feel like for me, I felt like I related to her as a character the most, um, especially like with all of the things that we're going through, all of our social changes currently right now, kind of like learning about like whitewashing history and all the stuff that's happening in, in America. I feel like seeing her perspective of how ra- racism plays out in her country and how she responds to it and how people teach her to look at different perspectives. I felt like she was just really relatable and like, man, you guys, this episode when she was like going through all of their stuff at the base camp, but they weren't there. I actually felt pretty sad. <laughs> Ugh. So. Yeah. Uh, say yeah. to the point where, um, where Le- like you know, where Lena is like learning all those things about, like, you know, about the Republic. Like in the early episodes, it was very like in your face about it, but like during the last parts, like they, it's more, it's much more subtle and much more like, like, it's much more impactful the way they do it. So I like it much better in, in the early episodes when they're just like kept having like just these people were just like shouted out or just, just I don't know. So. Mm-hmm. For the last uh, like a couple episodes, I thought like uh, I thought everything was moving, if anything, slow. And then they, we we found out like they were adapting like everything really well in the light novel. 
But then the last couple episodes, I thought they just skipped some stuff and went crazy fast almost. It was like, really uh, they, yeah, because like the whole thing with Shin, I thought was basically he's supposed to be able to hear like the voices and like not get like jumped. But then we get thrown in at the beginning of the episode where they got they got jumped somehow, but they never actually go like into and explain like what happened. They basically just show that uh that a uh, robot got you know just you know just uh, just shot or you know didn't work anymore. But they didn't actually ex- like figure, like uh, explain like why where they came from how they got jumped. I don't, I don't know if they just jumped, but more so like it couldn't be avoided. Right, because was you have to be within you have to be a certain vicinity before you can start hearing them. And then I guess depending on where they are, because it kind of showed up this episode too. Depending on where they are, they could avoid it if possible. Like they had that cave that they're able to hide into when they saw one of the uh, the squads rolling through. But I'm assuming during that period that we saw them get ambushed or whatever, uh, they they just couldn't avoid the the legion. So, mm-hmm. well, you even have it at the you know the end of this finale when Shin decides to cause the rock slide to move forward by himself because he knows mm-hmm. like oh, yeah. this can't be avoided. It's not yeah. like they could have just. Yeah. Back and oh no, not him. that one. The one before that. No, I know, I know, I know. Okay. But I'm just saying as like a reference of there are just things that Shin realizes like can't be avoided. Right. And so him being, you know, the the protagonist on the 86 side, what a noble cause for him to, you know, try and sacrifice himself. Even though, you know, at the end of the day, through the power of friendship, everybody else showed on the <laughs> battlefield to, uh, you know, a- end their demise together. Yes, facing um, the eye robots too. Those yeah, little things that run right? like we, yeah, think we just burst off. Those, those were creepy. Yeah, I wish we had seen those earlier because you know that totally caught me off guard. Of like, damn. Well, how many different unit types do these, you know, uh, AI robot kind of armies have? Um, but I don't know if I'm in the minority, but I actually enjoyed last week's episode more than the finale. Um, I, I know we didn't have Taylor oh, on the call for last week, but just with uh, you know Fido and kind of the usage of that directing and everything for yeah. all no, of the, I, I the totally members of the 86. That was from. much more impactful than Lena's scene to me. Like, I see, still that's... enjoyed Lena's scene, mm-hmm. but uh, I, think, I don't I know think... what the time thing is. It's just like, Lena, you could have done this like much earlier in advance. It didn't, from a viewer standpoint, she didn't get any repercussions for, you know, taking over the the, the missile oh, system right. to save them. Yeah, so call, we kind of just get jumped to, oh, Lena goes from, you know, the Republic to the front line. With like no like yeah she mentions like oh I've been put on house arrest and all these things but it's like okay well what stopped you from going to the front line earlier then mm-hmm. like you know it's just one of those things that if I really had to nitpick it is kind of frustrating of like you know you you talk all these things of how you care about these people and then now here you are at the end of the fact where it's like everybody's gone and, and you know now you're trying to pull at the the emotional strings of of seeing you know where they lived and kind of learning about them through like their their knickknacks that that were left behind. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's just my own personal thought. Of- That's really interesting to me because I feel almost exactly the opposite about everything you just said. And I can kind of explain why starting with, like, do. <laughs> starting with, yeah. Fido. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that Justin's wrong. No, I, I mean, no, like, it's interesting. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to like, smack down? All right, let's go. Megalobox. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, with Fido, I agree that I re- I liked the montage. I didn't like that it was the only thing that we'd really gotten from Fido, though. Mm. Like, it was basically like, Fido's dead now, and here's why you should care. This is why you should care. Let me show you a montage in this last minute. So, actually, I did really like the style, and I just felt like... I felt like this is a show that could have deserved to have had more episodes to kind of build up the characters more, including Fido. And it was, and you could have still had that montage, montage, and it wouldn't feel so much like a forced feel sad now kind of moment and then with lena i I took it a totally different way where it was kind of like i i pulled something from it where it was more like if you are really invested in something or if you really care about something you shouldn't be like scared by what is like the norm for your society or like what's expected of you and you should actually pursue that like if she'd gotten over her fears or or stepped outside of the mold earlier then she wouldn't have had that missed encounter you know what i mean I don't know that that's what the yeah. show, the, what the actual writer would have wanted you to take from that, but that's mm-hmm. how I felt from it. So it's interesting to me. We came completely opposite there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it with the different viewpoints. Um, last thing I'll just say, and sorry to cut you off, Stratton, was just, no, uh, I really enjoyed uh, from, you know, the scenes we saw with Lena at the end was her discussion with the mechanic, who I oh, think, yeah. you know, last yep. week we had mm-hmm. kind of asked, you know, like, hey, is this guy an 86? Like, how come he's, you know, obviously Child much older and everything? Guy. And then, you know. They had the full explanation for why he's there and kind of, you know, his own struggles with being mm-hmm. an Alba and kind of his emotional distraught of what happened, you know, to his wife and kid. So mm-hmm. that was really great. I felt mm-hmm. the, dude. Uh, for some reason, this show, 
I don't like. I never had like any kind of like emotional like like I never felt like emotional. I never like got teary eyed. Nothing like that. Where for a show that felt like it was moving so slow, like getting everything it possibly could, I felt like I knew nothing about anybody really. Like any time that they were like any kind of like even like the old guy at the end, like his story, like you know, just sound you know just terrible. But it's like I really do nothing about this guy. They kind of just also just take the glasses off. He's like, let me explain my backstory, and then they just kind of <laughs> moved on. And then also the same thing with like Fido, same thing with Fido about how they do, they do that flashback. Like I, I thought, like damn, this robot looks really cool. I didn't know he actually did anything, but then they kind of just kind of forced, kind of force fed you in a sense that last uh, that last kind of thing with that. And uh, really, like I mean, I know none of the characters' names besides Shin. I don't even know the main girl's name. Like that's how little I've like I know about any of these people. <laughs> And Fido. Um, but you know, that, that that's really about it. Um, I don't know. It just feels like I, I should have like enjoyed this. Like I feel like it was a good show, but for some reason I just didn't like it as much. Like I like it, it looked uh, it looked awesome. Like or, like the you know visually, like it just looked really good. Directing. Uh directing for the most part I thought was actually really good. Mm. Um but then it's I don't know, it's just weird. No, it's <laughs> I just, I just felt like I should have liked it more. It was, it was hyped up a lot, like before it released. That could be and too. Then... And then also, like, while it's airing, a lot of people I was praising it, too, so... Uh, yeah. Well, I feel like from a coming from a light novel, you lose out on a lot of the exposition of, like, the world, the places, the mm-hmm. characters. Mm-hmm. Everything can be gone so much further into depth as I have to imagine the light novel does. Yeah. And so that's probably a big reason of, you know, but why sh- there's still show, so though, much like, that had to be, like, quickly just run through. They right. adapted so much of the first volume, though. Like, it yeah, no, like, damn. Per- yeah, like, it's per- true. Pace, so, I don't know. Well, I, well, basically, still... I definitely have plans to go and read the light novel because I, I want to see. To your point, David, is it pretty much a one for one? And even as like a that's original like the... reader, you don't know much of what's going on, and that all comes much later. Or how does that all pan out? I mean, I'm just I'm just still surprised how much of this. I don't you know. I don't know. If it was an entire season or a majority. It was like still volume one. Like it's usually yeah. it's supposed to be three or four volumes per season. So, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm Even gonna though, wait until you read it, Justin, and then I'm gonna hear your thoughts. And then there's maybe I'll a lot. <laughs> I tried not to get too many spoilers. But I didn't realize how many volumes there actually are out for the show. Oh yeah, from yeah, a yeah. light novel Cause, standpoint. Cause, so yeah, because because how used, many like, is it? I think I saw like nine or maybe even but more. You didn't mention that, like, that the covers like spoil, so be careful. Though. Yeah, so that was the big thing when I was like very carefully googling. I was just like, oh man, like I'm gonna get in so much trouble here if I. <laughs> so. Well, here I am, like saying, like I really had like no kind of connection with these characters. That being said, if like Shin and all the other ones are dead, I'm just done with the show. <laughs> I really don't want to yeah. learn like a whole new cast. I'm yeah, good that with that cast. Me. The thing that kind of threw me off was like when they finally showed Lena at their base. It was October thirteenth. Thirteenth. Yep. Yeah. So it was before their like uh, before the latest time step that we saw, which is like what October thirtieth. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, so you know how animes used to do that thing where they love you with an epic uh, cliffhanger, but when they yeah. show like a like a flashback to something that happened a few weeks before, there's definitely a lot of potential with plot armor being in play and like she's rescues them at the nick of time. Right. Um, uh, although the only thing that worries me is the fact that at the very end, Shin sees his brother and his brother is reading the uh, the headless horseman story or whatever. And then they ride out into the throughout the window, right? But then when they do that pan down, you see like I guess Shin's body without his head. Yep. So it leads me to believe that Shin probably died, but maybe Lena was able to save like one of the other four or something like that. So I we'll hope see. they don't bring Shin back to have to fight off against Lena. And then there's oh, they, these they some, like super drawn out emotional. But you know they are, yeah. Uh... The one thing, I mean, it's the one thing for the show, though, like I keep, I was complaining about how it's just like they, they try to have you, they want you to have like that emotional connection with the, at the beginning when we have like 20 characters and we knew nothing about them. And then it, it, even like same thing with these ones, we have like these four or five characters, but I really don't have any kind of emotional connection with them uh, except Shin. And that's, a ver- that's at a very minimum feeling for me. So it's like even if you wipe out these five and bring a whole new five, it's just like, okay. Great, we get to start all over again, square one, to learn about a whole new group of uh, characters, mm-hmm. and I just, I just don't care about it. I, I might be in the minority, in the minority of it, but you know, it's whatever. Did you guys notice too that the language was Japanese when I went to that little uh, school? So what if it's like, like the West versus the East, right? Germans I versus mean, the Japanese. I don't really like, think too much. It's it's, Go ahead, it's different in anime because like you yeah. never know, like yeah, like when they do those kind of things, like. Like they just put signs in Japanese. So. Yeah, I 
I, that I is a think... good point that you bring up, though, Ku, where I, I did feel like there was a potential for them to maybe do more than what they showed with the school scene to maybe mm -hmm. have you as a viewer, like learn more about this world of like, either like, right. you know, country lines or where you're actually situated to, to what you just said. Um, mm -hmm. Cause that was definitely something that I, I picked up on as well when they were going through like the different, you know, schools, like textbooks mm -hmm. and everything of like, Oh man, like, is there going to be any kind of like, you know, nugget of information where we as a viewer can learn like some, you know, big kind of unveil or anything, but. Right. And then like, if you think about it too, Japanese people, robots. <laughs> Maybe it's not aliens, but it's Japanese people building robots, and then they're just like sending them out there to to fight the Republic, right? So maybe that's what it is. So it's all a big it's, test. It's, so it's all a. Uh... <laughs> it is still an anime. It is an anime, so who knows? <laughs> but I still believe in the aliens. But yeah, after seeing like the giant AI robot army coming after like the the four <laughs> individuals, that that was. I don't think it's aliens anymore, but who knows? <laughs> it's all the Truman show, man. There's some bigger thing at play. Just some big orchestrating force, <laughs> right? They just, want, they just want the brains. But hey, oh, like we said, there's like eight or nine volumes. So and if they're going at the, the pace that they went for this whole season, still being just one volume, then whew, crazy. there's a lot of a lot of stuff to come. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it's just crazy because because you just assume like like anything like any light novels published by Kato Kawa, you just assume it's going to be made in anime. Maybe they actually hmm. finish it, so we will see. Yeah. I mean, they want their forty, their forty animes per year. Like in all honesty, if there wasn't that leak where it confirmed season two, I, I, this is one of the animes where I would really maybe like lean towards reading the the light novel just so I can know how it ends. Because I, because the the first half of the show, I didn't really care much for it because the pacing was just so slow. But they really advanced it up towards the end, and with everything that was going on, the plot became a lot more interesting. And you know, you were starting to get more like attached to these characters. That that with how they ended it and how the last three weeks were, I, I just gotta know like what like what the story is. So yeah. It will all come yeah. down to maybe, you know how long is it going to be until maybe the next season. Maybe that's why yeah. the light novel reviewers were hyping up because the last part, I guess, just really got them. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it, it's going to be a little while till the next season. And the only mm. reason I would say that is with kind of you know the studio itself and even having you know Sawano do the soundtrack and 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 music for it. Like I feel mm. like he's the type of guy that if he's going to commit to a show kind of similar to like attack on Titan, it's not a show that's coming out, you know, like once every year, mm -hmm. it's going to be probably a little bit of a longer gap. But, oh, and yeah. then what did you guys think about like the, the shepherd that was shooting off the, the long range artillery? Cause I think it's uh Lena's dad. Do you guys have any oh, guess as to who it could be? I didn't, I didn't even think about, about that. that. Yeah. I was like, it was hard to pay attention during this. So it's right, attention! Right, yeah. Oh okay. my god, get out of here! <laughs> I mean, it was, I thought it was a guy, another guy that looked like Shin. <laughs> so. well, because uh, he also mentioned like I gotta protect my princess, right? And I think her father called her her princess too. And I was, then I thought he showed some, her like a slight yeah, glimpse psych, of a little girl. About some psycho guy like being a stalker. I didn't think about like that. So, oh, yeah, I, I mean, know. it could be. I mean, that would make sense. The show likes to have uh, those moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. All right, never mind then. <laughs> Watch, then it's gonna actually happen, and Kuzi gonna be like, "I told y'all." <laughs> so I, mean, I told you. you, know, you know, we profit, have it here so in the I'm vod. Not, I'm exactly. Not, I'm not surprised if it does uh, happen. Do be well, we have profit a, once again. Well, we have the special next week, so we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, we'll see. True. All right, so I think that's gonna conclude our thoughts for '86. So, so yeah, I guess that's like the season finale slash like special whatever that's gonna be next week but and yeah, hopefully maybe we can come revisit it uh with the new format too so we're gonna leave it there for 86 move on to our next show do your eternity so he didn't die i told you guys <laughs> i told you i'm more surprised at the time skip like I did not expect that yeah. time skip in this show. Oh, it's so weird. Uh, he looks so much older. It's so dude, weird. It's I don't been, like I it. Didn't, it's only been four years, too. How do you, like, get that? I that mean, I feel like bigger. that's fair. Because, what, you figure yeah. the guy that Gu or that uh, Fushi took over was probably, like, what? 14, like 14. 15? I was thinking 14, so too, yeah. He probably went through a major, you know, <laughs> part of puberty and everything. And look at Gugu. If we're going to talk about people, you know, yeah, no, that, that's blowing up. That, my that's man, what I was talking about. I was talking about Gugu, man. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Like, tiny, I thought we were talking about... A tiny little kid uh, to, like, some 
buff ass dude that's bigger than Fushi. Well, I mean, that's the whole part of the scene of him, you know, doing the pull ups. So obviously, he was doing pull ups those four years straight, David, every day. Yeah. The part with Gugu totally, re- it totally <laughs> reminded me of like Ron Weasley from the Harry Potter movies when he's like super scrawny one movie and he comes back and he's just super tall and buff. And I was like, what is this? What happened in one year? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if he still has the alcohol in him because, you know, that could be adding a little extra weight for him too, you know? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, his flamethrower was kind of uh, a little bit more than I was expecting. <laughs> I didn't really like the aspect of the like everything between him. Go okay, like first of all, just physicality wise, the alcohol in the stomach thing has bothered me from like the very first time that we heard about it. it I don't know why. Like I just don't, I, like why was it put there? I don't really understand the purpose of it. It just I didn't hey, like it well, at all. It was, it was a test. Didn't, didn't they say it was more so just to like. Yeah, a test of like the fermentation process, yep. and I don't know. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if they said it was in his stomach or if it was like a organ that I thought it was the, a separate like thing, old yeah. man like yeah. basically implanted in him yeah. because of the way his body is kind of malformed and stuff. That's it right. all just um, seemed really weird to me. And then this time when he like his method for getting more was to go back and like drink it all. Why not just carry <laughs> back a bucket? Like that that whole thing was dumb to me too. So I mean, I guess yeah. I didn't he like that part of it, but yeah. overall, he wanted the, he wanted the flamethrower. The <laughs> yeah, he so wanted to use flamethrower. Well, it was really just for the visual effect of it more than anything else. Yeah. Well, it's also, you know, spit. I don't know. It was to spit it out. You can't. You know, it's it's a little harder if you toss the bucket of water and throw fire at it. You know. Fine, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, what did you all think of like the girl? I can't remember her name. I don't care about her at all. Oh, Reem. Yeah. yeah, her whole her whole issue is just she serves stupid. the purpose of being you know the love interest for Gugu. So oh, she she does her job well enough. So I just I, just, I mean she, yeah, even like after four years, she, she doesn't really change much. So I still think of her same outfit too. Same that, outfit. That, that spoiled that spoiled like rich girl that like she's so over dramatic. Mm-hmm. Is why I think about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, we're on the same page. Yeah, her, her whole thing with oh, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I was well, I was gonna say with the, her two fan like her family members too. They're just uh, like the whole that whole kind of like thing was just weird. It was just annoying. Or they all just like sat down and started eating. It was just yeah, the whole thing was just it yeah, was part yeah. weird. That's all I wanted to say, Justin. <laughs> I mean, to your point, I hope we'll get to see more of Reen's Ugh. potential upbringing or background if they do want to go oh, that God. route to make you care more about her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah, total trope of just, you know, rich girl doesn't really understand how, you know, kind of world works is very self-centered and selfish and is completely oblivious to goo goo, you know, just wearing his heart on his sleeve for her. But <laughs> if I had to guess, you know, with how the show goes and a lot of the emotional attachments and things, I'm sure they'll bring that to the forefront in a very powerful way between yeah. Green and, and goo goo. I honestly think Gugu is going to be like, a. I think he's going to be a party member now just because of like, you know, he seems he's suited for it now. Buff. <laughs> Yeah, he, he seems like his, he's ready. Yeah, he took out one of the knockers, so <laughs> which I think is a very interesting name when I have to think of the author's <laughs> mindset of like, okay, a knocker, huh? Yeah. Okay, I just think boobies. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, God damn it, so right now I'm not going to be able to get that out of my head. <laughs> that that's the middle like, of the, the first thing in my head. Knockers, oh uh, yep, lord. Yep. <laughs> yep. Good no, I'm just I'm just more curious because again, like the the weird spirit Ogata, like which mm-hmm. I don't know why, it just it just reminds me of like some sort of like ghost Sith Lord, this role, but like he was talking to Fushi. It was mentioning too how yeah. like you gotta you gotta leave, man, you gotta get stronger. And then Fushi's mm-hmm. like, No, I wanna stay here for four years. He's <laughs> like, Okay. So I'm curious to see what what's the outcome <laughs> of that decision? Like <laughs> like why is well, I guess I, I mean the opening again spoil, spoils it. Where like we assume he's gonna go on more adventures and meet more characters, but no, here's no. here's like I guess if that that thing comes back and is even is still stronger, like makes it into a rock again. Well, in a sense, I mean, I mean, Fushi got pretty you know uh, you know stronger in a, uh, over these last four years in the sense where he actually speaks normally now. Even though I'm gonna kind of miss his broken down speaking, I will, I will not I like, miss it. No. Really? I, God, you nah. guys. The worst is the glad wolf form. The wolf form is speaking. the creepiest. Oh, uh, it's best. We haven't heard him speak in his wolf form yet, so we'll we'll see how he sounds now. Uh, he can cook now, so it's it, in a sense. Uh, Okata was basically saying, "Hey, it's it was you know, he he was able to improve like these last four years and some things as well." Yeah, but it's like a, uh, not like a help him fight. Um, maybe we don't know yet. He can he can create stuff you know out of his hands. Yeah. Maybe Did you read the manga out. for this, Taylor, or have you held off on doing that? 
I have been told that I am not allowed to read the manga uh, while it is airing. So no, uh, I have uh, okay. not read the manga. I haven't read it either, ass. but I was just curious. Koo's such a terrible guy. Why would he do that? <laughs> yeah, um. damn Koo. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm always on the fence as well, but for my own personal kind of enjoyment, I'm just like, oh, just just hold it. Just hold off. I gotta stay strong. Yeah, when when the season <laughs> is over, I'm gonna destroy that manga. So. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I yeah. If if nothing is announced about like a second season, the, it's one of those sh- uh, one of the ones that I actually wouldn't mind reading either. Even though I no. assume it's just gonna be more depressing stuff. Yeah, but you know, this to your point, it's, it's good that we have 20 episodes or you know the extended length that we do have to yeah, yeah. give us more. They're not you know yep. cutting it short with that 12 to 13, which is always oh so bittersweet. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but oh, no, overall, like I, I actually, I actually cared more about Gugu than I thought I was going to. That guy's actually awesome. Oh yeah, I don't same. care about. Uh, I was like, yeah. I was shing on him the first episode we met him. I was like, yeah, I think a I lot of us were this kid. So yeah, yeah. I think now this is a show that does, you know, such a good job of making you care about the characters mm-hmm. that you meet. Dude, just, in such a you know mm-hmm. short time as well. Like I would say, you know, some like yeah, we've gotten three, four episodes, but even still, like, yeah, it's just, with just it's that just, much more. It makes gives you that much more kind well, of it's attachment. Just, it's just something yeah. about the writing. Like I really, I'm like, like I really want next week's episode. Like I just really want to know what's happening next. Like yeah, just something <laughs> about the writing is is just hooking me. I I don't know how to describe mm-hmm. it. Dude, all these positive characters, but I I love like the positive characters where they're just life is absolute shit. Yet they're basically just like they're just loving life in a sense and like in their own way with the. Uh, Originally Fushi, then we then Gugu March, R.I.P. And then you know, just uh, they make you. I think like my least favorite was actually March, but towards the end, uh, I ended up uh, caring quite a bit just because she's just of her mentality. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I don't yeah. know if I have anything else really. Yeah, that was kind of say, uh, that's like, kind of it. Man, it's fucking, like time skip in a big like. Macho yeah, Gugu, it's definitely man. definitely it's interesting choice because now it's like you know where can they go further with time skips and everything? Because now that they've shown it, it's like okay, it's not off the table. You know, we're not always going to be on a linear like progression from a viewing standpoint. So I don't, I, I, I don't think oh, they would do it again, but I don't know. It is you know interesting to see. Like, all right, four year skip, and then now <laughs> we'll see what has to come of it. The the one thing I do, I still really don't care much about are like is uh I'm just gonna call it the like the druid tree stuff. Uh, so far I that kind of like uh element that was kind of added into the whole thing I don't really know how to feel about it yet. Like uh we because we really don't know anything about it besides you know they're just Fushi's enemy. But well, I why? think that's the big thing is we don't know enough. Yeah, yet. I mean for yeah, me, so that's, that's the only thing I'm. I guess besides like the characters dying, like it's the only tension in the show because it's the only thing that can affect Fushi really because he's still OP. So, I mean, you got that, you got that crazy lady too. That you know, shot March. She's still roaming true. around. Yeah, but like with a gigantic she can't scar all over her face. Form. Maybe who knows? It's been four years, dude. <laughs> she may have been then, bear then, training. Then, then, Everybody's then again, been training. Everybody's yeah. been growing up. And again, like this early, these early episodes, that bear's been smacking people, and she's living like he scratches. Yeah. So yeah, I love the bear in a sense where it's a, yeah, you want anything to stop you, just fucking go bear and just knock everything except those fucking yeah. druid trees. Uh, I I got really nothing else though. Yeah, so I think we're in there for two year eternity. We'll wait we're halfway through, week. ten more. Yeah, yeah wait till next week if you have more of our thoughts. On to our next show. Talk about Tokyo Revengers. <laughs> A lot of crying in this episode. Ooh. Uh yes. Ooh. My favorite. Good episode, uh, guys. Good episode. <clears throat> you wanna no, explain you don't like it? Uh, you don't like I- it? I mean, I like that Draken survived. That uh, that made me like I will can be continuing the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, I guess, uh, when it hit like midnight for October. Uh, well, well, I, I forgot August, what the day was. August fourth. Yeah, fourth or August fourth. Yeah, where he's just like, oh, I made it to August fourth. I was like, bitch, you were just talking about how August thirty went to go to, like the that festival. I was like, well, you you don't give a shit about the date. <laughs> <laughs> And then all of a sudden it hits midnight. It's like, oh god, I'm safe. I'm thinking, man, this guy's this guy's mindset. He just has like those specific things. He's his own worst clear, enemy of. Get clears it and just go and just moves on. Uh, did was there anything? I don't know if there's anything. I, I didn't actually check the censored uncensored. I just watched it on Crunchyroll. Well, yeah, so I'm not sure what was missed. Tokyo, the 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 uniform in the hospital when the sun was like censoring the uh you know the back of the jacket. That's like the most obvious thing mm-hmm. I saw. Oh, the oh. Thing. oh okay. Well, I mean. Oh. It, it was super bright on the jacket, so I assume that's what it was covering the, the manji, the manji kanji. Oh, gotcha. Okay. 
Yeah, no, I, I saw the Justin. uncensored, and it was it looked fine to me. Yeah, so. uh, I think that's the only thing that I had noticed was the stuff with the uniforms. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. I just want to say, uh, man, I'm hit of another cliffhanger. This damn show. I need to know what I need to see Hina next week. What happened? So. Oh, right, Hina. That's right. Yeah, the brother yeah. just had called and said, "Oh, you know." It yep. worked. We did it. Let's go see my sister. Dude, there's a there's a part in my okay. mind that for like when she first went to call uh her brother and he wasn't mm-hmm. coming, I was like, okay, I was like, oh, I, I you know, then I'm, you know, so many different thoughts were going through my head. I was like, oh god, like uh, is he like you know what happened to him? Is he dead? But then I was like, no, no, I can't. I was like, I'm not gonna go too crazy. I was like, who the hell would kill this guy? Nobody right. even knows this kid exists at, uh, back in the back in the day, and it's still like he just thinks this guy's just nuts, like wanting like handshakes. It's like the fuck's your problem. <laughs> No, but guys, Hina is alive now, right? Because Akun's alive, so that means that he changed the future. Aren't you guys excited? You can see you... adult form Hina. Yeah, I'm yeah. Curious. <laughs> my, my God. Priorities. Priorities, guys. Come on, no, waifu that's, is that's life, all right? That's who's priority right there. But I'm curious to see, like, I respect it because again, it seems too good to be true. So, like, I'm curious, like, how this will go if, if like, if they still have a good relationship, or if this is gonna be one of the things where. Somebody else died. It's like, there's gonna be some drama happening where they say, like, "Oh, we have to go back to the past again." So, yeah, yeah. I mean, but then it, the, the show was, I guess, this episode was more of a like comedy factor after the whole, you know, dragon was successfully operated on, so he he survived the knife stabbing. <laughs> but then, like afterwards, you got like Takamichi thinking he's a badass now because he <laughs> finally accomplished his mission. He has this like ridiculous <laughs> outfit on and a smile, yeah, and then right. like. um you know it, and then like I guess Akun is is uh, alive now, and then they had like the heart uh, felt moment. But um, well, the, thing that, good, yeah. the thing that bothers me is I don't really know like you know if if childhood like Takemichi like does his own thing when he's like in the future, what happens to the adult one when he's in the back, right? Yeah, I know, right? They, mm. you know what? The thing I remember is like Naoto said he's just like I think he's gonna be, like, like just suspended not. Well, he's state. in like a yeah, coma. He's, he's in suspended yeah. state. Yep. Yeah. I mean, but he got, his no, job, but... he got his job back, and he was currently at his job. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's like, he was talking weird. about like, can his future character oh, be shit. impacted? Basically, right? Cool. Right. Like, because yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I, okay, so I was like thinking during this last. Wait. Okay, so now Akun and um, Hina are fine, but like, what if he has to let's still let's say still go back in time for some purpose, or even while he'd been back in time, having made all these changes, what if in the present time it totally changes like where his character developed and w- what he was mm-hmm. doing? And yeah. I was kind of curious to see if that would happen. And it doesn't. Other than the job thing that you mentioned, it doesn't seem like anything did happen. But my brain was kind of going down the pathway of like, what if he ends up yeah. being the one that gets twisted? You know what I mean? In right, the future. Right. It's also a long. Yeah, one of those time it. time travel shows where like we're like now till like even though he's in the present being affected by the changes he just knows what happens you know he shouldn't so yeah. and then the thing that i thought was funny which i guess should be funny was like mikey was like this close to cracking the case because apparently time travel is yeah, like a no, thing like, for everybody like, like everyone's again, just aware of it I, again <laughs> like it's, it's like it's like aqua from before where he's like saying oh all these strange things happen in my past obviously you're a time traveler yeah <laughs> Well, that makes sense. no sense. Like, makes no, no sense. My favorite, my I, favorite, like little. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, David. No, I was just uh, say like, man, I, I, I miss those. I, I miss having to say that. Like, I want something like it's a weird, dumb happening in my life, so I can say, wow, that was a weird, strange event happening there. I'm gonna call Justin and ask him if some <laughs> entered my life. <laughs> my, uh, uh, my favorite moment, um, actually, uh, th- I, again, it was one of those moments that shouldn't have been funny, but I, I thought it was funny. When Drake Drakken first uh thanks um thanks him for saving his life and proceeds to go into a cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest, you thought that was funny. Uh, <laughs> I, I just thought like that whole kind of thing was just because uh, I felt because well, it's like okay, Dirty, man. Yeah, it's just like oh, thanks for saving my life. It's like yeah, no problem, man. It's just, and then just flatlined. It's like <laughs> I was like okay, um, not quite sure if this is saving the life yet. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll work on that a little bit more. I thought, I thought of you when I saw that. By the way, I was like, "Oh, Serene's about to leave the show." I oh. I, I feel it coming. <laughs> but no, there's another line in a, another show that we'll talk about later that was just stupid. Uh, they, this this one I, this one wasn't like nearly as bad compared to that one. Okay. But uh, no, anyway, no. Jack is still here. I'm good to go. Do you feel from like previous weeks and stuff? Like I guess the last few episodes has pacing gotten better at all do you feel like it's still kind of the same where well, you know things are dragging more than you'd like well, to see or <laughs> honestly your... yeah honestly the pacing doesn't bother me i just fucking hate the mc at this point 
Uh -huh. it's, it's just like, because the thing is, like, this guy, you know, walks in like he's like, he's the shit. You know, he walks in with his, like, just uh, douchey ass glasses and everything else. But yeah, it's just like, this guy could have been, you know, uh, instead of, like, gloating, this guy was talking about how he's like, oh, I'm just tired of being a, you know, being a bitch or, or like, weak, can't do anything. And then this guy, just because he thinks he's the shit, even though he really hasn't done anything yet. He just has, he just has the, well, so he, I, I don't know. I know it's supposed even, to be like a comedy moment. So I'm just going to you know, look over like, that. And you can't use an excuse saying he's a dumb teenager because he's 25. So, but yeah, yeah. But for me, um, like the last couple, like, like the last, the, like the, the fight breaking out and then all this thing leading the dragon. I mean, I've still really enjoyed it. Like I've always, it's just been a cliffhanger every week for me. So mm. it's still a cliffhanger. Awesome. Man. I, I need to see that meet up with Hina, like. So oh, why is that, David? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. It's just like I need. To, I, you know, it's, it feels too good to be true. Like I, I'm waiting for like some something to bait me or something like dramatic happen. So, there, like uh, let, let, let's let's be real, right? Like you know something is about to happen. There's no way a long running series is going to like like solve its problem like so fast. Yeah, no. we still we still no, don't it's have, gonna like, turn numbers. into a rom com. It's gonna be the Hina and Tom oh, yeah. rom com for the rest of the series now. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You know, <laughs> the the one character I actually hate more than MC though is that fucking sin and punishment guy. The uh, edge oh lord. Totally oh, agreed. Hanma. God, I hate that. That guy's just a <laughs> the just ultimate edge lord. Douche. Yeah. Because again, it's like the whole thing where it's like, oh, you're gonna love this show, then, man. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, it's more of like just kind of like that mental block still, where I just have to get used to them being middle schoolers. Like, for and high for me, he's just he's just one of those characters for me that's just like he's just so ridiculous. That, like I just sit back and just laugh at how ridiculous. Or oh, I it's, laugh. It's, it's, I laugh it's, too. It's, it's like like it's like the the My Hero Academia like class B president that I laugh at. Like oh, God. these ridiculous characters, man. Like yeah. it's, it's not like it's not too in the way of the show, so I don't mind it too much. Yeah. If they're just like even though he's probably gonna be an important character later on, I'm assuming, but. But uh, as of right now, these last couple these last couple of episodes, I do think is much better than the earlier episodes for me. Justin also shows, uh, you know, MC. He he kind of got like the point where he you know had his like his like shout out and basically realized he was use, useless. So hopefully from here, there's a, there's a development and growth. Uh, Draken survived. We're good to go. His arc should be he should be safe now. Hopefully, at least for uh, you know a certain amount of time in in the future. And then uh, mm -hmm. uh, so you know, show can only go up from here for me. Cool. I mean, I'm just excited for like the upcoming like gang war with um, I already forgot the name of the other. Oh, that Valhalla. 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 Yeah, Valhalla. boy. Yeah. Tolman and Valhalla. They got like, some I'm great, just... great gang names in this show. I'm very excited for that. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, you already know. You already know shit is going like happening because you know Edge Lord was saying he's like you know your your uh group will never rest again or something like that or we'll, like we'll never be safe some yeah, something no. like that. They're... Yeah, cause Ragnarok on our on us. Yeah, <laughs> just picking on poor middle schoolers. What a bunch of assholes. Uh, anyway, that's all I got. <laughs> hey, I'm still en I'm still enjoying the show, even though like these guys shit on it every week. So oh, I'm back, liking Justin. it more now. Yeah, besides like uh, you know, uh, like, I got uh, you back, Justin. <laughs> no, I mean, again, I, I'm always interested to see, and I'm glad to hear you know things are, are picking up more so because again, it is you know interesting seeing how the anime is going versus. You know, at the time, just being able to binge the manga up to where it is right now and just like how perception of a, a series kind of changes when you have to wait, yeah. you know, week over week and stuff. Yeah, man, they're, just doing, they're doing fine with their 670% increase. Yeah, yeah right? Just, it, just feels so, it just feels so weird, but I actually just feel like I would enjoy the manga more than the anime. And that, that weird, never sir. happens for me. That's not weird, Dude, it, it's for me. I love no, anime no, way no, more no. than the manga. <laughs> no, no, no. Manga just gives you answers. Anime is I can. <laughs> that is true. It's very true. It's very true. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see because I know we still don't have, you know, how many episodes the series will be. I've seen like some conversations saying like, oh, it's going to be a split core where they're going to do, you know, like a 12 and 12 or some type of like small break. But the, the only, knows, so the only reason why I don't think that's going to happen where it's going to stop at 12 or 13, because we, there was actually I saw an anime news network that had a. Uh, that they had a PV for the the next arc, so I'm assuming it's going to continue going. Like, oh, okay. unless the, unless this arc is one episode, but you know, I I, I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know if they do a PV for arc, an arc sir. for one episode. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm assuming okay. that there's going to be at least no split here, and they'd at least be going 24 before maybe a split. Unless uh, is, that, is that what you meant, Justin? Yeah, or they would take they would take a break at like some point. Okay. Okay. 
Other than that, that's uh, all. I, uh, that's all I saw. Yep. So, that's all I got. Yeah. So that's gonna be it for Tucker Revengers this week. On to our next show. I guess we can uh, just talk a little bit about My Hero Academia. <laughs> I don't have anything well, to say, so it's floor is all yours, guys. No worries. Uh, Ari is very adorable. That's all yeah. I gotta say. Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> the, the, like, that part was actually really good, where she's saying every single holiday. All the holidays. The <laughs> you just have a racer <laughs> being like, wrong one. Nope, not yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, and she has all the stuff like prepped and ready, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm glad, though, that like, the Christmas part really wasn't that long. Like, it, I, I Actually, based on the preview from last week, you would have thought that it would have been the entire episode. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't. Uh, it was, uh, what was it? Well, how can we skip over that beginning in the first, you know, few seconds? What do you guys think of, of that? I know <laughs> I you just, obviously have no idea, but. Oh. I'm, you know, I just hate that guy. <laughs> so. I forgot who he was, but like, I'm. Big Rocky ain't looking to. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that, isn't that him? Oh, is mm-hmm. it him? I thought it was someone else. Yeah. It looks like him. I, I don't know. Okay. I, I can't well, really. I'm. Like I'm delirious today, so just ignore me. Well, I mean, you have to be fair. You guys haven't seen him in a very long time. So yeah, has that yeah. Of villains. I assume he got stronger because he seemed. Uh, oh, well, because yeah, what were? The, I'm trying to. So the things they took from Overhaul was just those one of those the uh, the quirk killing shots, right? They're the quirk, uh, quirk killing bullets, basically. I think so. From yeah. Overhaul, okay. Mm, so that's yeah, really yeah. the last. That's, so that's the last time we saw him, and I still mm-hmm. thought he was a bitch. But it's now though he's basically leveling cities, so I assume he powered up. So hopefully he's uh he's more OP now because it's it's more like when whenever I would I would see those main the main you know uh, villains from, in the League of Villains, I just thought they were all just terrible except Dobby. He was the only one I was actually like uh, interested in seeing do anything. That's all like but I, favorite as well. Yeah. So now, but but with Shigaraki looking more like uh more badass and kind of that where he just where if he's just able to level cities now uh it's definitely gonna be uh i'm, I'm more I'm more intrigued seeing what this guy does so I, if anything this is probably the most i've actually felt uh interested in the league of villains so uh, they're they're doing they're doing well there for me sorry i kind of if you guys want to no, say something I'm i told you man i have nothing to say this week so it's all yours Bro, i love guys- you guys aren't going to talk about the Bakugo yes. like, section? I love oh, Bakugo. You, what, during like the interview and stuff? The Bakugo is just fucking awesome. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> just... Uh, like how, what was it? Like an whole like, hour long thing. And then they uh, they basically, they oh. don't even, you, you couldn't even tell that the guy's even there. I'm more Sorry. like Todoroki's comments during that interview. He's like, yeah, we're friends. And they're just like, yeah. well, how are we friends? He's like, well, we're friends. <laughs> it's like the juxtaposition between them two is so great. Yeah. And, and Todoroki like really thing. sold it. <laughs> well, I mean, and you have Deku too, basically just be, you know, stage fright, which would be me. Oh, that was a pretty um, good moment as well. Oh, cool. Go ahead. I see you. You are back. Oh, yeah. Uh... We were covering for you. So we just, I, I heard you lagging. And I was just, gonna, I was just talking over you. <laughs> so. Oh, no, like, like. The the thing most about this show, uh, the last two episodes, I guess, is Todoroki's like, they're they're opposite personalities. You got Todoroki who's completely like naive and innocent, I guess, and then I could go over here just like blasting off whatever it comes to his mind. <laughs> and I just, I just find it so hilarious. David, how can you hate this guy? <laughs> I, I have my reasons. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Taylor, you don't like Bakugo either, do you? Uh, I mean, like, I don't hate him the way that I used to, but I don't like him. Like, I mean, there's funny moments and stuff like that, but, like, what I associate with him? No, I'd probably definitely avoid him, you know, if, it, if he was a real person. Well, I mean, he's a he- hero development. He's, uh, he's, I, I think know. he's gotten higher. He's he's done more than a lot of them. But in, in the same sense, they they all have had, like, those hero need, uh, traits need already. This, this justification <laughs> from someone who follows toxic streamers, so. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I follow one. Yeah, oh, we went personal wow. now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I follow one, sir. And I, and I haven't even watched him forever because I don't play League. Hint, hint. Honestly, that's uh, that was basically it, right? the majority of it, other than you have at the end, um, you know, that they're reopening the uh, the like internships with the oh, various heroes and stuff. And, oh, know, yeah, right. Todoroki okay. invited uh, Bakugo and Deku to uh, Dude. best friends join. Yeah, <laughs> most, <laughs> most friends. Yeah. Let's go. Three friends, you know, get to go to uh, Endeavor's <laughs> office. 
What's crazy is like hey. I didn't even think like Todoroki would have said that just because like uh, the only person I thought Todoroki would have been close to would have been Deku. Uh, definitely not, not. Definitely not Bakugo. Uh, was this no, the it's episode? because they bonded oh, over the supplement school? That's what it was. Oh, that, that, that's right. Okay. I like these um, episodes. These types of episodes of Hero the most. The ones where kind of sh- like well, not not always the most. I like the really epic ones too. But like I like these ones where you just get to see a little bit more personality from the side characters. They all get to kind of decompress yeah. and hang out. I feel like the humor can be pretty good in this show sometimes. So I like For it when sure. these get thrown in. I liked it. There's not a lot to say about it, but it's not because I didn't enjoy it. You know. Mm-hmm. No, I totally agree with that. Fleshes out time? each hero's personality much more, especially in Class One A. Which I think is where the the show can yeah. shine. Apart from when things, you know, get cranked up to eleven with the the usual characters and their badassery. So, not much really happened to be honest. So, it can make sense. <laughs> yeah. All right, David. Didn't mean to take your line there. <laughs> Go for it, man. Not like I, not like I own a phrase or anything. <laughs> not yet. No. Nah, yeah, well, we're working on it. Mm-hmm. Trademark, the I trademark. See. Exactly. Pending. Trademark pending. Trending. Soon. TM. Yes. yes. All right, Sounds so we're, 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 we're going to end it there for My Hero Academia. Move on to our next show. Um, we can talk a little bit about uh, Nagatoro-san. Uh, this was a really good episode. <laughs> just, you just, said just, it. <laughs> just because they had the, the painting of the, the president the whole time. You kept watching that so many times this episode. Oh, yeah, they just oh, had I it there. I see that coming, bro. Nope. <laughs> you know, honestly. Nope. Oh, God. Her, yeah, her assets though. Hmm. At least she's a smart woman, you know. Like she knows what the fan wants. Like I totally yeah. thought she was gonna lose because she was gonna be this prude, like high class, like artistic person. Same. Nope, as raw as it gets. So, <laughs> she amazing. gave herself some bronzer too. Uh, yeah, in, yeah. in the photo. Mm-hmm. Don't know why. Mm-hmm. Uh, that whole thing was way different because I think we we kind of thought because uh, because what she did, you know, you know where she like uh, did for her own painting. We, mm-hmm. I think we thought that was gonna what the MC was going to do. Mm-hmm. Cause I think uh, I think who you brought that up last week. Right, he's gonna do something that's more fan service. Yeah, cosplay or maybe someone more like less clothing. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, but the the whole like, kind of like development though with him and Nagatoro, I thought was was really good as well. Anytime you kind of get those like little hints here and there, the uh, or uh, they just it's uh, it's just better. Except mm-hmm. you know when she fell in the pool, I was like, ah, she swims, she's fine. But yeah, and then he saves her anyway. Um. You know, cute moment. But yeah, they're basically <laughs> like one step away from relationship. So I, I think it's it's definitely with them just being together. So I, it's nice. Like the way they're ending the series, I actually enjoy. I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's one step and two hundred chapters away. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like it's basically it's like, chap- it's like mutual. Ooh. It's like you know, kind of like a mutual like likeness. But you know, neither one of them are really saying it, and they're kind of just. It seems like they're fine with it. Like how just how things are going. Just with like the teasing and whatnot, mm-hmm. you know, at least on uh, Nagatoro's end. I don't know about uh, Senpai's, but I mean, I think they might as well just fuck, right? I mean, the tension <laughs> is there. You don't have to go that far. I get it over with, and let's move. Um, sure, sure. <laughs> I I actually don't hate <laughs> Nagatoro's friends anymore. They uh they seem they they, they actually seem like they're. Uh, I guess that's probably as normal as they're gonna get. I don't but like least... the one with the pigtails. Or does she wear pigtails? She wears pigtails. Yeah. If I had to choose one to, uh, that would be the one. Yeah, Jesus. me too. <laughs> she, she's just like a completely okay. unrealistic, just random, whatever, pointless per character. I just can't stand her. She's just a parrot at this point. Yeah. That's well, okay. You need to have with diversity. You know, it's totally fine with assets. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just replace her with uh with the um. The uh, was it the art club leader in Call of Good? I'll take her. God, I'll take the president any day. Holy yep. shit! I thought Nagatoro was good, but man, that president, ooh, <laughs> one step above. Yeah, uh, but um, Nagatoro's still good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't know if I have really anything more. This is the first one where it was like a. I think this is the first one like episode where we have like a like an arc actually. That's yeah. been yeah. multiple episodes because. About the end season's about to end soon, so you can make it try to hype it up. Yeah. Dude, it's still though, like I thought like like this episode, especially like everything looks so nice. Like like even like they like they have stepped up the budget even more than it already was. Like, a lot of those shots look really nice. Again, like this meme show. Like crazy, like, right? 
How does this happen? It has no right being this good. I don't get it. The yeah. water is flawless, guys. <laughs> I just don't get it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, like, I'm pretty sure like they're gonna lose as well. But I think for some reason, uh, the president's gonna keep the club open. I guess. I think change of heart. I think it's. I think it's because of uh, you know, something that he does, and then I think she'll see it. Because uh, she's, she's, and then she's they... saying like his paintings are dull, so he's just he's gonna yeah. see his paintings. Be like, oh, you finally have excitement in your life. Maybe, maybe you do deserve to keep the art club open. Yep. Uh, I don't think it was excitement. I think it was just love, right? It lacks love, I guess, uh, or she, emotion. I just, I just remember she saying like that this painting was dull. So mm. It was bad, man. All right. It was like, dull, though. Are you it kidding was. me? I would have. I, if I, I would love to have like that level of drawing, and just draw apples. If all you day. had that level of drawing, would you only draw still life fruit? I mean, for God's sake. If that's where if that's where my artistic abilities lie, then yes, I will I draw follow, fruit to the last last day of my life. I would follow the president's footstep and do naked models, do, I mean, do life models. But yes. what if you couldn't do it? What if you had to? Like, what if you were you couldn't do that for some reason? And but you were so good at drawing fruit, but you had to just basically play, you know, put oranges, watermelons, or apples in those locations in those places. I'm gonna like be honest. I mean, that I'm gonna like... be honest with you. If I could draw, I would definitely be a hentai otters. No lie. Just okay. That's that's right. where I would be. Fair enough. I was gonna say, Stray. I mean, that's like that's like perfect quarantine situation right there. But like, mm. oof, no, there was no way. But yeah. <laughs> I like to. I know I would like to work on things I know I can succeed at, <laughs> not fail. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna end here. Enough about Nogatoro. my failures. Um. <laughs> We're ending here for Nagel Charles. <laughs> move on to our next show. Let's talk about uh, Moriarty the Patriot. Oh man. Uh-huh. Well, you don't sound that excited, <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> Let's get Taylor's thoughts first of how this show has just, you know, continued to go along the path it has over the last few weeks. You guys, I just, I have nothing to add. I really, like, this one's pretty <laughs> tough for me. I, I, it's not that nothing happened. I just don't care at all what happens to them. Like, I, I, just... I completely agree. I think yeah. they've now gone completely code Geass. As much as we say that for all other shows, this just, latest like, episode legit, is purely like, just Lelouch mm-hmm. and Suzaku. It's, That's all I think of. He's he's yeah. he's Lelouching so hard they they want him to stop Lelouching. Exactly. <laughs> so but, if they didn't make it evidently clear, they had them you know have him kill like six aristocrats this episode with his his sword cane every time. So the only thing that was like maybe a little if he's like I can't tell this like is actually happening in, like. This is actually happening in the manga, or this is like an anime original ending? Like, because I I thought the I thought mm. the manga was still ongoing, so I, I don't know. Like, like yeah, it is still ongoing. Know. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Um. So then, like, I don't know, like how I guess uh. they they don't actually kill him next next episode then. So like that's why oh, I'm so no. confused about like the, the these last the next two episodes. Like, what are you gonna do for an ongoing series? Is you gonna try put him as a louche? So that's like. But the way that the show's been going, I'm kind of concerned now. I think about it, so. Yeah, I I just I've just got yeah. I've just I mean, they could nothing. just do an anime original ending for it. And go some different route and end it with these 24 episodes. Nudge, but... nudged. You should do that. <laughs> I think that they should end it there. Well, I don't know. That's just my thought. Maybe if it had been done differently, or if it is different from the manga, maybe if they'd followed the manga close more closely, I wouldn't feel this way. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like though if they do have more material, they'll keep it going. Like the show does so well ratings wise and everything else, and I think oh, people really kind of like. It. Yeah, people actually um, really like the show. I feel like, yeah, I, feel like I, like I never hear about the show besides us. Like I hear about it on TikTok all the time. Like I see it on a bunch of recommended oh, lists, and people okay. are like, "Yeah." I hear about it a I think lot. It, it definitely has its its markets mm-hmm. done well. I know. It, I, I'm sure it's recently popular in Japan because it's it's in Jump Square, so it's in the week the monthly Shonen mm, magazine. Okay. So, so I know it's definitely popular in Japan. I just you know the popularity mm-hmm. here. So I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Again, man, I think it's it's those pretty boys of you know just making everybody look very beautiful in this historical adaptation mm. of Sherlock that is also keeping res- it alive. I respect that. <laughs> Interesting. I never really thought that they were all that particularly good looking. I thought they were all average. 
Hmm. <laughs> I must have my, can, uh, you know, my. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm with you, Justin. Like I could tell right away. Like they're hitting. Like the that. only reason the, I say that is just like a lot of the yes, a lot of the like transition scenes when you have like Sherlock sprawled along the couch, or you have you know like the brother or Mori oh, Luis yeah. or Moriarty. Well, it's like they are very well, at least in in my opinion, I could be very I mean, off I mean, kilter. Just, I feel like just, they're very directing it towards like, oh, hey, ladies, like Sherlock's just, looking just, an awfully nice on this. Like on this the, couch, isn't he? <laughs> like the, the character designs, like all the guys are like are like tall and slender, and like, like none of know, them have any just, blemishes or anything. They're all the, just beautiful. What beautiful anime guys. character has blemishes? Come on, <laughs> none. <laughs> plus, like plus, plus, like the one, one, one of the guys. I forgot his name. Was like it's the one that's not Fred. Like the other guy, he's like super like buff and like has going like his chest, or whatever. Like he's obviously like eye candy oh Mar Colonel Moran or whatever. Yeah, yeah, him. He's like the obvious eye candy group soul. Yeah, but anyways, um, no, I, I I totally agree with your thoughts, Taylor. Which is like, I don't know where it all went wrong. It went wrong with introducing so many characters, and I just feel like the narrative is really all over the place. Like they brought in, I forgot the guy's name, but that blonde guy. Um, oh, Irwin. Politician. Yeah, Irwin. <laughs> they brought Irwin in, Whitey. and I felt like that didn't yeah, really Whitey. go anywhere. <laughs> Like, ostensibly, it kind of furthered the plot along, but it just, like, took a really long route to do so. And then yeah. I felt like the same thing with this last, like, ridiculous villain that knows everything, blackmails everybody, um, that, like, set up this wild goose chase. That whole thing was so contrived, and I, again, I felt like it didn't really contribute to making the plot oh, yeah, better. Yeah, it's like, um, um, like Milverton, yeah, like we spent so much time on this yeah. character... I think he just dies, like in like a gunshot. Yeah. Like, from I'm just gonna Sherlock. fall off my balcony. Yeah, so, <laughs> and that like, yeah. So a lot, a lot of unsatisfied conclusions, and then there's me weirded out by like the whole like conspiracy factors with like the British Empire affecting like French Revolution and all that. Yeah, I, I mostly just don't like it again from the narrative perspective. I'm trying to figure out what the like what the over overall like um plan is i guess for everybody maybe not plan i just i feel like it, i don't even know how to put it into words and i think that it's because the show also kind of changes points enough times that i don't i don't even know how to make my point it just like ostensibly i guess he was supposed to be taking down the aristocracy but ugh, i don't know for i, I don't i don't i don't know how to phrase but, what no, i'm saying like, so but it's, like, it's yeah. like the it's like you're saying the narrative just got so muddled and all these like yeah random different like side quests yeah, yeah. So oh. that it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I think if anything, at the end of the day, what keeps me going is one: the opening and ending oh, songs I really I like. Yeah, the OSTs <laughs> and everything, and the fact that Production IG is animating it. So you know, mm -hmm. it's a good, it's a good looking show. So it really yeah. does show when you have those things going for you, the story can you know kind of <laughs> do what it wants for better or for worse. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So, I, I would but, say that out of all those shows this season for me, this is the one I have the toughest time sitting down and forcing myself to get through. I'll start it and I'll be like, oh, I'll pause it. There's something I wanted to check in my email. I'll start it again. Oh, I'm kind of hungry. Let me go get food. Oh, I oh, got to feed really? the cats. Like, I keep, this, up, yeah. This is like one of the easiest formats for me just to like just to be oh. watching, like just like just sit back and relax. I don't think much about watching it. So I just sit back and relax. It's like, it's like my academia is like the one that's like I struggle like finishing. That's where I pause mm -hmm. and do other stuff. Mm hmm. Justin, well, is this one of your two times speed ones? I was just gonna say these are this is one of the shows that I I'll two times speed from now and again. But but I will say every show this season at some point or another I've two x so. But it, it, hey, it's all worked out in my favor. I still get yeah. the you know the content at the end of the day, and it's not like there there haven't really been any shows that have been like really really deep and thought provoking. So that's also like helped. I mean yeah, if you're not missing out for better well, or for worse, so. yeah, yeah. No, I think oh, we're that's in, all I've got. Yeah, yeah we're exactly. in there for Moriarty. Same here. We'll have more to say. I think next week's last the, the season finale. So, first, yep. So we'll have more to say next week. See how they they end this. So that'll be it for Moriarty. Uh, let's move on to our next show. It's about Bird and Cavati. Uh, I'm kind of glad that gonna, this show's done. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna back right out of this conversation right now and say I barely got through the last two episodes. Last episode, I was just on my phone on TikTok the whole time. I can't do this show. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of wish that the end of it was um, a match that mattered more because um, it, it was still just the um, okay. What's what's the term? 
it was uh, it was it wasn't a real match. It was basically still just like a practice max match. Uh, I, I think uh-huh. it was I think the bigger part of the issue that I had was like I really just didn't care about the three new characters that they brought in. Uh, it was. It's basically all about the captain and the and then the MC to me, at least. Yep. Even though it is still kind of nice to see uh, every once in a while, like the like the the original five kind of have like their moments. Like that one guy, they they put a lot of time in him now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I wish I remembered his name, but, but basically the guy who'd always get into fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know. It it. For me, it kind of sucks because it basically ended at a point where it would be in most typical sport anime, uh, it would be like in the middle of the season, right? Yeah. Because yeah. they didn't even really like end up a cliffhanger; they just ended the show there. Oh, yeah. so yeah, ended the show and the match, and we didn't even get to see like a legitimate match. So they basically ended right before their you know tra- uh, training for the uh, for the tournament. Yeah. So if anything, this is more of just a teaser of what's to come, I guess. But uh, if we get more, right. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> because otherwise, this is very stereotypical, right? Uh, I thought they were going to lose because that's going to show that, you know, like okay. through that pain, you're going to grow at a much higher rate because you really want it, right? You're really hungry for that win. And then with the three new members that showed up, it's kind of what they went through, right? They were basically useless this match. But then the captain told them that, hey, you know, now that you guys have a feel or a taste of loss, I'm going to start training you guys a lot more seriously. So. You know, like that's this is their training arc now, I guess. Um, yeah. but yeah, man, like I said, I still love the show, but it, it definitely ended at a weird spot. And hopefully, this is a season two. Otherwise, I, again, it just feels like it was just one of those teasers, and they really just want you to read the manga to fin- uh, finish up the series, I guess. Um, yeah, it, it's too bad that it really didn't get 24 because, like, uh, kind of like how high Q, because I think high Q is mm-hmm. like kind of the same point where we didn't see like a legitimate match to I think toward until towards the end. Yeah, uh, I think actually, like the final, I think it was like what's no, we saw I think a couple matches, but so that, that was kind of too bad that we didn't get to see that part. And it mm-hmm. was just kind of uh, still, even though there's a fucking insane amount of rules, <laughs> like it it's, it's crazy. Like, like the whole thing when there was a p- one point where I thought like uh, um, the ace on the other team stepped out of bounds, but then you find out, but then they they mention it's like, oh no, like when you when you uh, struggle struggle somebody, basically then those two sides open up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then basically like, the game really begins. I was like, oh damn. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, it would have been kind of nice if that was mentioned a little bit earlier, but it was fine where it was. <laughs> I mean, it's... no, no, no. Like, like I said, I, I get that, but this this would have been perfectly fine if it was still like the middle of the season, right? Like, not oh, yeah. the last yeah, episode. No, no. Yeah. So, yeah, I agreed. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. This is <laughs> it's just so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is still, I mean, this is still like one of my, my surprising shows of the season. Like, where I, one, mm-hmm. I didn't expect to really watch it, and another one, I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. Right. And it was for both. Uh, I, like, a lot of the characters I really like, but like I said, like the three characters that they introduced you know, at, like, at the end for the team, I just, even if we do kind of like do backstory and stuff, they just seem so out of place. Mm-hmm. Even though, to be fair, I also thought like the bald guy was going to be out of place as well. And then, uh, so some of the other characters they just fit. You know, I think I thought just fine. No, I mean, I, I think even even that, like, I think everything they did was great. Like, even with the backstories, because you're gonna have to slowly flesh out these characters, anyways, right? Yeah. And then as of right now, you've only had uh the backstory of two characters in a sense. So, you know, this this is totally fine. They didn't overdo it either. Yeah. Uh, so most definitely they had 24 episodes. But God, it would have been so much better. <laughs> Yeah, like, like I still, I thought it was crazy how much how much backstory they actually gave to that one guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, because even like at the last episode, they were still giving him more backstory. I was like, damn, they really want to, uh, <laughs> they really want to uh, make sure they they have this guy established. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they, they have him. They have like you know, kind of like the MC. We we got some of the captain captain backstory. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, did we get? I can't. It's been such a. Uh, it feels like so long ago now for the ball uh-huh. guy. But did we get his backstory too? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Damn it, that's the guy I would really want to. Uh-huh. Other but. than the fact that he has a girlfriend, and all he does is like when he was in the mountains was just manual labor, and that's why he's so strong, you know. This guy, man, everything's a mystery. Dude, <laughs> but, he's so, but he's so awesome. I it's love just, him. He's yeah. awesome. <laughs> like from the I, beginning, I thought like, damn, this guy's a shit. I think I would like this show more if I liked some of the characters more. Like, the MC, I don't like him at all. I never... I, I liked him for, like, the first episode or two, and I uh-huh. and I just, just... It just was downhill for me. It's more of a sports mentality towards uh, when you get him. 
later on. His type of personality is not a personality I ever like in character, so this is unsurprising. But since he is uh-huh. the MC, it just makes it difficult for me. Um, like, I really like the captain. Um, and I kind of like seeing his relationship with the vice captain, too. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I like like that chemistry that they have. And I like the chemistry between the MC and the bald guy. But, like, I just feel like if you compare it to a show like Q, I feel uh-huh. like if you take any character that's on that team, if you were to say, like, okay, drop them in a ramen shop, like, what kind of stuff would they want to order? Like, what kind of music would this character like? Like, you could, you uh-huh. know enough about the characters that you could kind of, like, have an idea. Whereas these characters feel very one-dimensional to me still. Even with their backstories, they were, I still felt like their backstories didn't really mean much to me. Uh-huh. Um... Like, it's tough, honestly, Sakura had the best one. <laughs> and so, Maybe it's because it was more relatable. You felt bad for the guy. Yeah. But in front of the two, there was no, like, pity factor in a sense, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I can kind of see that. And it, I think they, it could stand... Sorry, sorry. I just have one okay. thought quick. And I just think that they could stand to put in a, a little bit more um, of a... Of a a little bit more budget for some of, the, like, the final scenes of some of the matches. You know what I mean? Like, again, thinking of Q, They get pretty epic with, like, the metaphorical... Um, artwork and the music. I mean, it just gets really, really intense. And I feel like Kabaddi's just kind of missing that. Granted, they haven't been in a tournament, an actual tournament yet. So right. there's that. Yeah. Music, I thought was fine. Uh, but, but I do remember, like, uh, that was the one thing that I, I, I remember, like, way back, Ayush was worried about um, when we when he commented on the the video that the, the animation was the one thing he thought was going to hold it back, which I definitely thought that's what hold it, like, held it back. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of those like uh, moments could have been so much more epic with uh, with a higher budget, with better animation. Like mm-hmm. when uh, when um, when Sakura was doing like basically like the crocodile death roll, like it just looks so just choppy and broke. It just looked terrible. Mm-hmm. And same thing when uh, when uh, MC is uh, he's basically spitting out of uh, out of holds. Mm-hmm. You really didn't get to see any of that. It just kind of like just moved him choppily out of it. And I thought, damn it, this this is really hurting right now. Yeah, it makes yeah. you wonder, right? Like it, it, it was already good, but can you only imagine what it would have been like if they had maybe a higher budget or oh, just had more time? Like yeah. the potential was was there, yeah. most definitely. Uh, yeah. a... So hopefully, it picks up, and then season two gets like a better treatment. I guess I don't. I'm I don't a... really know how the show did in Japan. So I definitely would have thought the show was a lot better just because I'm a sucker for animation, and I'm very biased when it comes to that. Right. But even even with that, without it, though, I thought this was, I thought this was still a very solid show. I mean, it was also very interesting because one, I didn't know it was like I didn't know anything about this sport. I didn't know one, I didn't know it was an actual sport, uh-huh. and uh, just kind of like learning about it, it, I just thought it was actually epic. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't yeah. know how this, sh- I don't know how this isn't in the Olympics because I would have actually, uh, I would have, <laughs> I would have put this on. No, maybe it, maybe it is. Who knows? No, I don't think it is. Nope. I actually looked it up. Oh, I think, okay. yeah. Uh, oh, damn. but just but just to make sure, you know, don't quote me. I may not know. I'm not sure of what I'm talking about. So, if you guys are, uh, if you you know, viewers or listeners are looking for it on a uh, on a uh, the Olympics and it's not there, I apologize. I have no idea. Huh. Anyway, I got nothing else. Yeah, that's about it for me. All right, we're in it there for burning Kabaddi. Move on to our next show. You guys can talk about Mashiro no Oto. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh God, Umiko, you're hot. Why he's such a bitch? Nah, man, <laughs> no, I can't save it anymore. When she dropped that trophy, man, <laughs> oh, I wrote her out of my life. Yeah, that pissed me off so bad. I was so triggered. Like, I thought I could go home and murder his whole family. I swear to God. <laughs> like, you know how bad it is for me when I when I still thought that she was gonna maybe just hug the guy. I said it was okay. I was hoping she would redeem herself somehow, but then like. I should have known better. She doubled down. She doubled yeah, down on that. <laughs> like, you're a disappointment. Well, fuck you Dirty. too. Let's go, damn. <laughs> All right. But, oh, God. And dude. then, like, dude, like, uh, like, Setsu's, like, we finally get to hear his piece, like, his sound or whatever, his version. Mm-hmm. And I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I enjoyed it more than the other guy, like, the, the Me too. guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, like, I kind of called it last week, too. Like, yeah, definitely, he was definitely, like, Setsu was definitely the fan favorite. But because it was a, a competition, he did things that was like unorthodox. Like you knew he was gonna lose already. Oh, yeah. He um, changes his changes sog midway through, and you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, so it, it kind of sucked. But man, I, I I need a season two, man. Like everything was was like I love this show. I, I need a season two for sure. <laughs> my my favorite song is still Mize. Like a lot of the the the, mm-hmm. the solo ones. Like I thought they were okay, but I I just thought like just I just thought Mize's song sounded so much more unique than anybody else's. Like I, it really just stuck with me. 
Well, I liked hers, and I liked the guy with the twang, and I liked the fact. Oh, that dude, yeah, the twang guy. The number two, awesome. number two. Yep. And, oh, I love, and I love, and I love Paji Kuhn. There was actually a lot of characters that I really ended up liking. I was shocked because I did not like this show at all for like the first five, six, seven episodes, and this did a big turnaround for me. The only thing I will stand by though is that, and Stratton said it too. They can really go in a little too hard on the drama. Yes. Like I understand that Setsu. Yeah. I would be, I would be really worked up. Just like Setsu is, if like my mom said that to me, regardless of what my relationship was with her, I'd just be pissed if nothing else. So I could yeah. understand him feeling turbulent for sure. But just the extent that it went to, it was like, okay, let's calm down here a little bit. It, the show does that a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I, I definitely felt for Setsu when he finally kind of just let it all out when he was, you know, outside of the venue and just kind of fully broke down and everything in front mm -hmm. of everyone and just how frustrated, you know, he was. With, it's like it's like a damned if you do damned if you don't type situation you know he's trying to come Basically. into his own his mom literally just you know crushes everything and it's like nah bitch you're gonna do yeah, what i want awful. you to do and, and his dad is just like yeah you weren't gonna win anyways with that mentality <laughs> and it's just like and even the you know the one um like sensei-esque figure who's you know the well-known mm -hmm. uh glasses, glasses? Guy. Yeah. he was also like he's like yeah man like you don't really know like what you're feeling do you and like you know setsu was like trying to act like he knew what he was kind of doing and he's just like nah bro like this ain't it so mm -hmm. <laughs> the accumulation I, of all these things i totally get you know yeah I that's he did what he did <laughs> i like how with uh, all these characters too when basically he's like breaking down like all this shit's happening around him and instead of actually like, any of these guys talk to setsu like ah, just give him some time he'll be fine and then just move on <laughs> And I just thought, like, I mean, wow, yeah. that's a uh, thanks, guys. The older brother knew best. He's like, there's nothing anybody can say. Like, he just needs to do it himself, which I think yeah. is, you know, is a, is, is a good kind of lesson to learn. It's like there are things that you need to do from within, no matter what anybody tells you or what kind of advice they can give. Like, mm -hmm. it has to come from yourself at certain times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder if the glasses guy is going to end up being kind of like a mentor for him, or do you he's think that he's. Because I thought. <laughs> More of an yeah. antagonist from the beginning, but he feels That's more what I mentory thought too. now. But I feel Same. like he's more right. of a mentor because he seems mm -hmm. like he's more antagon well, not antagonistic, but that he doesn't really agree. Well, this probably isn't the best wording, but he doesn't really agree with what Setsu's dad and Setsu's rival kind of view as like their play right. style or how they like approach the Shamisen. And even, mm -hmm. you know, the glasses guy was like excited by, you know, Setsu kind of coming into his own. And like he even said, mm -hmm. like after Setsu's performance, he's like, I just want to go and play the Shamisen right now. So like, you mm -hmm. know, it, it ignited that excitement in him. So mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see, like you said, Taylor, like, will he become a sensei? Will he become just somebody that, you know, continues to push him in, in, in different ways by showing up to, you know, whatever future events and other things that happen with the show? But Nah, with Yuku, like, man, that final scene when he reaches out for the Shamisen after he's just been, you know, emo boy in his room for a few days, I was like, damn, man, like, I need season two ASAP. What a terrible so. place to cut it. <laughs> he feels like he's going to write, like, the most epic piece of the century, and he just cut it out, you know? Like, this yeah. guy is deep in his feels, he's hurt, he's about to play his soul out, and that's what you want to hear, you know, that exactly. raw emotional play. Oh, <sighs> God. Yeah, what a yeah. show that just you know turn around expectations from a kind of a slower start to not having the most confidence to just knocking it out of the park yeah yeah, yeah overall i thought like all our parts were 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 really good just really the one of the part that i thought like really ha that I really hammered hard was just a lot of the scenes were just really over dramatic and they were just uh yeah. they were they were that's they were a little too much yeah well i feel like I don't know. I feel like with the musical shows that I have seen, like they always kind of go that route where like very emotional. Yeah. Like I can't think of many music focused shows that like don't try to kind of <laughs> really go over the top on that end. But the thing for this show though, like it was a good, sh it didn't need the, like it, it didn't need like the crazy dr like, dramatic moments that it had. Like I thought it was, I that was like, a, it was a really good show compared to a lot of other, like uh, I guess the mu other musical shows. I haven't really yeah. watched me, but uh, I liked it more than your lie in April, uh, like by a landslide. Really? Oh God, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your lie in April was definitely over dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm dropping. I, I, I can't. I, I have can't a tough play. time with the drama sometimes. I think that's why, like, at the end when he's like collapsing outside, crying on the ground, it reminded uh -huh. me a lot of like. 
the midway point of um, Sun Gatsu no Lion. And I remember at that same point in that show, I dropped it hard. <laughs> it's just like, I can't yeah. handle this. Oh, one March comes drama. in a lot. March comes in a little bit off topic, but I thought that moment in March comes in like a lion was way more impactful than in this. But yeah, then, I would agree with that. I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> but oof. Yeah, yeah, it's I don't know, man. Oh, I knew you knew it was gonna be like epic too because they went back to the first opening for. At I was the, just gonna say that yeah. was the first oh, opening, yeah. right? That yeah. they decided uh-huh. to use. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they knew they knew which song was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> like and that was the first time I haven't skipped the opening in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the second epi- the second opening was uh. It was just very disappointing. Yeah, yeah they were that like, first let, one was so good. Let's they probably do this. that just to sell some, you know, new singles oh, yeah. being released, right. and they're just like, "All right, let's get back to the the one people like for the I final mean, episode." It's, <laughs> and it's, burn, it's still burnout syndrome. Like they're like they're very solid. So mm-hmm. yeah. Anyway, um, I don't think I really have anything else. This is another very surprising show of the season for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see where they they take it from here. Like. If it just continues to be like, you know, focuses on, you know, Setsu in school, but then also, you know, him kind of creating his own craft. And then that's going to be leading up to like the next big tournament or. So I have one more uh, really kind of dumb question before we move, we move on. Sorry, David. Uh, is this a ri- is this like a anime original light novel manga? Do we know? I think it's a manga, right? Is or it? Is it a light- oh, it's a manga. It's a manga. For yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I said it was a manga. So. Okay. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't imagine reading it though. I, I need. I need. Oh read. no! No. Yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. I, I. I don't know. I don't think the Shamisen really uh, ter- <laughs> goes well in the manga. You can't feel those those sound effects. Those twangs. Yeah. I mean, I can. Twangs, I can do. Yeah. I can do twang. I just can't make music. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh god. Also, that guy. The, like when he basically got second place and he just thought he was the shit. Like I was. Like I, I definitely want to know more about him. If there's a second season, he's got to be a big part of that second season. For nah, me. fuck that guy, bro. That guy was loser. <laughs> oh my god, dude, he he just played himself, dude. He did him, and it was awesome. He he was basically what what Setsu should have done from the beginning, you know? Right, right, for sure. Yeah, sure. that's why a second season comes in, and then he then Setsu sees this twang guy. He's like, all right, I gotta be more like this guy, and then he wins nah. it. You know? he's so annoying, dude. I I hate his character. <laughs> like I I thought he was gonna be terrible. Uh, I think I even mentioned it like when we first saw this guy. I was like, man, this guy just seems like a douche. And then immediately say, when he started playing, I was like, damn, I love this guy. <laughs> I, yeah, still kind of a douche though. But uh, yeah. okay, season two. I'm just ready for the eventual <laughs> part where Setsu just completely destroys Umiko's, you know, fixation with saving the grandfather's sound. Oh yeah. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe Umiko's just a bitch till the very end. Well, that's that's not no. Eventually, he's going to change their minds. I'm sure once he plays that masterpiece, right? Yeah. So let's hope we'll, so. We'll see. <sighs> or or she win or he wins some sort of a uh, some some sort of um, trophy that somehow is like engraved with like uh, her 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 grandpa or his grandpa and all this other stuff, giving it to her mom and then just decides to drop it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I ain't bringing no trophies near that woman. No more. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. No, no, that's why you give her the you give her that one and you drop it right in front of her and you just walk away. Drop the mic too. That's what Setsu should have done. He should have just straight walked away. Right when that happened, just 180 and bounce. Be like, all right, bitch, I'm out. Well, I mean, at least at least I guess he didn't have to pick it up. <laughs> he did just walk away. <laughs> I guess. And then, like he's just a he's just a kid, you know? He's just a teenager. Like it's it's insane, like what they're putting him through. Yeah, just what a bitch. You're not first, Man. you're last. Really? Thanks. Thanks, Ricky Bobby. <clears throat> <laughs> Moving on. <Anytime>. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I think you're finally done with my show. Also, I think I think we're truly done. Okay. <laughs> move on. All right. Let's talk about Mega Box, dude. This Ooh. uh, oh my god. Dude, this episode, <laughs> they got me so hyped for next week. Like it's just yeah. building up that hype. Yeah, they brought they brought the they brought the song back from the first season too. Yeah. Um. For like when uh yeah. when uh when Joe is walking out, I just want to see what he looks like with actually gear on him. Like it, it's just like that moment's just gonna be epic. It's gonna shock everybody. They're gonna be like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> I'm just waiting, man. I think it'd be cool. Like like last round, like he's like he's down in his like in a corner. And he just like just takes off that gear and just like shows like it'll happen. Just, like, it could yeah, be yeah. It'll it could happen. be an epic moment too. Yeah. And again, man, uh, just making your kid read that hummingbird. 
Lori. <laughs> the kid's yeah. worried reading it himself now. It's not. It's yeah. not him. <laughs> nice, I'll be nice. honest though, like. This entire last episode, like, I loved all the moments with Joe, Sakio, the gang, as you know, they're developing um, his gear for the fight. Uh, you know, him and Yuri have that moment on the riverbank. Uh, and then, you know, like you were saying, Shred, the, the, like the homage to the final walk in of these two fighters and just the usage of old soundtracks. But then, even more uh, that I had forgotten was um, the team nowhere that was carved into the hallway. Um, in that arena, I thought that was, you know, really great and really powerful statement of everything kind of coming to a head. Mm -hmm. And then we had, you know, a lot of this episode focusing on Mac and Mac kind of, you know, yeah. realizing, you know, the airs of his ways and, and the importance of going back to his family. Like, I get what they were doing, but I didn't really care for for Mac. Well, the one like, thing I thought, I thought he got, I, I thought he was, uh, um, I thought he got injured, like, in the war. I, I didn't know he got injured, like, on duty. And I, I was, like, yeah, I was saving those officer? kids and stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I, I had misinterpreted that as well. I thought it was like a war injury, not a police like saving kids from a burning fire. I, I wonder if we injury. remember it wrong or if it was trans just translated wrong for what we had. I mean, like, to be uh, fair, we probably have pretty bad memory with all the yeah. times that we're just like, oh, I yeah, can't remember I, I what happened. I don't even remember much, but, much about Mac. So I, I get what you're talking yeah. about, Justin. Yeah, like how they, they did spend a lot on Mac. So. Like, yeah, the, I, I, but I agree with you, Justin. I, I, I mean, I thought they had they had to do it to tie yeah, in, you know, right. the story of the nomad and everything, and, and the importance of the hummingbird from like everybody's aspect, yeah. of not only Joe, Jeep, yeah. but now Mac, and the importance for him to, you know, bring his A game to the fight. Um, you know, so I, I get what they're doing, but you like, know, I definitely uh, felt more from Joe and yeah. those uh, that side. Like when you, when yeah. you think about it like that, it's like I kind of like yeah, it kind of makes that we don't get the like the, the joe versus lou match seems like that's much more of a much more interesting like storyline right there right with Honestly, yuri uh, and stuff so yeah i mean that, that's like part of it that's the one weakness of the show because I, I definitely thought there was a lot more build up with uh you know in the first season with yuri though with with mac it's just it's more of like i, I almost feel like you're not really fighting mac you're almost fighting like the tech company um because you know they're, well, they're kind of in charge of it, but this kind of broke apart like that. So it's more of like I don't know how to feel about this now. It's because with like, this, like uh, with, with Mac, it's so much more involved in the, in like the the, the world, like the lore of the this yeah. dystopian future. So it's like, and but we didn't really see that much in season one. So it, it just got thrown yeah. to us a lot in like season two. So yeah. like really like pushing you with like yeah with like Chief and the Hummingbirds. So. I did like the the song, like the full song of like the ending actually that they played when um when when they were actually showing us like flashbacks of uh, of Max story when uh, they're that that song was really good even though I have no idea what he's saying I don't know if you guys know remember that part at all which part I remember it but yeah okay and apparently the the guy who was playing the the the, the guitar on the street is actually like the animated version of the person who made that song I actually oh, really? for that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, they actually okay, just made, they made a more. cameo for him in an anime. <laughs> Dang, that's when you, you know, know you're going to watch this, the man. God damn, where are you at, man? <laughs> yeah. So, I, so when I read it, then I read it. I thought that was actually pretty neat and uh, pretty cool. Uh, had, like, who do you guys? They had that uh, that interview with like yeah, the, the the screenwriters who like yeah they they live in an immigrant community in Japan, like one of the few like places in Japan that have it. So they have so just this unique perspective from like like an anime standpoint, like they. All this stuff is like usually not that well covered, so right, yeah, um, yeah. So it's uh, who do you guys think walked into the room with that tech company when that fucker grabbed his bag of popcorn? It's, it's, it's like either Yuki, Yukiko or her brother. So I'm yeah, leaning well, towards the brother. Too. I don't know. I just think the brother. Okay. How do we how do we think this guy's gonna go down? Because there's no way in hell he's just gonna get away with this. <laughs> I mean, dystopian future. I mean, like, like all the shit that that UQ and her company did the first season. She like nothing happened to her. So. I don't. Yeah, think... I, feel, I feel like it's going to be pretty anticlimactic. You think so? Like, yeah. if anything, he'll he'll lose his funding, but it's not like he's going to go to jail. So. Yeah. Okay. It's not like, like he's going to get thrown in the ring. and We just get to see him get the ever living shit. Like Joe, yeah. Joe and Mac, like tag team up, knock gloves, like, and then just go to town on this like, guy. You know, all, all, all these like white collar crimes. I mean, the consequences, you know, just just like real life, man. Yeah, yeah I, I think the worst you get is he gets thrown in the slammer. And that's Miss about it. Slammer loses his company, his money, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I'll take that. That's fine. Uh, so. 
Do we okay? So for the final match, are we? I guess we're, are we worried of uh, Joe's? Um, I guess like his uh, mental state in a sense. I'm more worried about Mac time. I guess like that's still like a big factor here. I I don't want Joe to get fucked up by Mac time. I thought yeah. about, uh, see, for me, I thought a part of it like uh, with the company and stuff. I thought they were in a sense were setting off Mac time. So I wonder, but I'm, I wonder if it's going to happen again, or if it's going to be one Is of those it? moments I where it's more just like more of like uncontrollable. Like I thought it was both. I thought it was like it was kind of like going hand yeah, in hand. Yeah, it definitely almost. seems like a mix of like pushing obviously his brain and body past like what it should be pushed to like i remember the like either last week's episode or the week before they had that one scene when you know mac is fighting and then uh the one guy tells the assistant to like turn up like the setting or whatever and she's like well if we do that it won't we yeah. you know well it was because the the reading the the safety uh settings were off the charts and he t- he told them to calibrate back to normal so he was there oh, hiding. okay. They mean they mean just hiding that it was being dangerous. Ah, uh, okay. I misunderstood that, that scene then. Um, that is one thing that they showed this episode too, where I think they're showing like the brain scans of of Mac, and uh, I'm assuming it. I mean, I couldn't read them or understand them, but I'm I'm gonna guess though that the uh, chip is doing damage to him. Uh, or, but you know that's yeah. that's what's gonna happen. I mean, so, it'll be I, interesting I, to see. I, I definitely Joe or Mac is not gonna have. A happy ending, you know. Hopefully, just because we haven't seen enough of Mac, it's Mac is the one that you know. <laughs> I, yeah, I gets feel the like short end of the stick, but I feel like that's gonna happen. Oh man, I don't know. I feel like they could tee it up to just be a. I don't know. Next yeah. week's episode. I feel like Joe's kind of served his purpose in a weird way. You know, he's so young, but he's touched so many lives of like all the orphanage kids and everything. Where it's like it's almost fitting for him to. Just fade just, out. Just to basically come back and only then just die well, shortly said, after. <laughs> well, he said this is the last one, isn't it? So this is yeah. his last match. It'll be, yeah. good, it'll be a good like you know finale for him, like final match. Him and uh, Yuri can just roll in their wheelchairs off oh, into the sunset. Dude, oh, hey, I'll God. take that too. Okay. <laughs> just don't, just don't take them. Yeah. Uh, next I week's episode really... is the the last one, right? Yes. Yeah. Finale, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna get an epic, hopefully uh, epic fam. Final episode with uh, Joe surviving. <laughs> well, I mean, just like hopefully, like just I just remember se- just season one, like man, that ending is like just dragged down. Like, what was like such a legendary season. So I hope we don't get that curse again, then, or next week. I, I don't yeah, think so. I'm not. I'm not as worried about. I mean, what, if, what if it just ends happily for everybody? Would you be okay with that? Like you know, Joe and Mac have you know their their great fight. Whoever comes out the winner comes out the winner. But then you know, Mac gets to go back to his family. They've you know figured out whatever with the the chip and everything, so he gets to be you know a dad mm-hmm. again and in in part with his family. And then Joe just gets to live out his days I'm with like, Team Nowhere and and I'm everybody else going up for you Joe. Be? Like he's been knocked out yeah. so much like in between the season one and two. Like I want him to get that. I want him to give yeah, me a bill yeah. with that, the things he lost. Yeah, it's just worrisome. Like, they wouldn't have shown that scene with the doctor and everything talking about the, the headaches and, and yeah. all that stuff if they weren't going to make it, was it fine, like, terminal. For... Yeah, but they, they said, like, you know, it was nothing serious. Ah, uh, man, so... they, threw up, they threw up the death flag oh or the God. red flag. <laughs> so, no, to, for me, I, I think it's more, um, I, I think Mac, like, he's not going to come out of it, uh, you know, unscathed. I think it's going to be more of he might be, he might end up having to go back into like either a wheelchair or something. Something is going to happen with the chip, where it just base. I don't want to say like fries his body, but it's in, in a way where it just um, doesn't work, or for if or if he like or something happens during the match, and then afterwards he chooses to remove it mm-hmm. or something like that. I could see that as well. And then like where the family is just like no, basically just want you to be fine and all this stuff, blah blah. blah. And then him just being in a you know almost like a just in a wheelchair. Kind of like Yuri, yeah. Except like it sounds like he like, like there was like nothing working for his body. Oh no, they even mentioned too if he if he had it removed now, like he would never be able to remove move his body again. Yeah. So, if anything, we're obviously in store for a very action packed and emotional packed final fight oh, between these, these two characters <laughs> that have been built up. And yeah, I think the big thing will just be to see. I'm hyped. What happens after Dude, the fight? But definitely I did not, hyped going into it. Oh yeah, like I did not expect to care about this show as much as I thought I was going to coming yeah, into the season. Almost, like this is like, my favorite show of the season. I I like almost skip watching it weekly this season. Like I thought I was just got binge it at the end. So yeah. I think it was you, Strain, that told me that it was like getting good. So 
Yeah, like, I, like, well, I think me and Justin were both saying, like, I think it was like three, four episodes. We're like, damn, this is actually really fucking good. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, I, don't, I, I really like season one just for like the soundtrack and everything. Oh, yeah. I feel like it was kind of so a breath of fresh air. Yes, um, oh, yeah. especially in this genre I mean, and space, but just with everything, the style like, and all that stuff. Like, it had I like me season one too. Right. I really like season one. It's like, it's like up, up there among my favorites. But like, I don't know. It's just like, I just didn't feel the hype for this season where i didn't like hear anything about it so it was hard for me to pay attention yeah I agree it wasn't for this, like it wasn't for this podcast i, I wouldn't even like know much it definitely about snuck in when it was two. like hey season two is here and it's like what like right okay. well yeah, to be fair so. too like uh because i think a lot of people felt like it, this didn't need a season two like it felt like it kind of uh, yeah, almost like wrapped too. up yeah. as yeah so i think i think a season two was almost just, just a surprise for a lot of people and i, th- I think also a lot of people just thought like there was again, no need at least and again also at least for na it's like it's like it's on funimation too so it's like so mega yeah. and like shadow house it's like these really good shows yeah. like people just like are just sleeping on so gotta hate funimation yeah uh <laughs> but yeah cool for some reason if you ever get time like this is one i would actually recommend um to uh to watch just catch up on whichever definitely worth it we shall see. I will right. take that. So we're gonna <laughs> leave it there for Mega Box. Right, for the exciting finale next week. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> yep. On to our next show. Let's talk about Hige Hero. Because you know, we love these oh anime moms this week. Ah, uh, they used to be so good. What happened, man? The quality <laughs> of moms in this in this season just dropped, man. Dude, this the, this writer, man. <laughs> It's just going downhill like fast. Well, it's, I mean, the mom. Uh, actually, I don't know anything about the mom. Like, I guess like based on like the levels that like Sayu had, I guess it, that makes sense for the character. But then again, we don't really know much about her. So, I don't, yeah, mm. I was gonna say we know nothing about the mom. That you know, she's just like in a higher, uh, she's like in a higher position, and for some well, reason that you know, Sayu says like like her, her their dad left like left after right after like Sayu was born, and so her mom thinks that like she's like blame for it and so she just like I guess she treats like shit for that so yeah um but anyway like what I said earlier for the and the you know when I was giving shit to uh, Tokyo Avengers with that uh that line with um with Draken <clears throat> this line the line that happened in this episode that I thought was just the dumbest thing in the in the world was when Sayu asked Yoshida yeah. if he was really going to come with her to her parents place while they were on the plane flying there and I thought, like, he just been like, nah, we... bitch, this is all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I saw that and heard that, I was like, do we, do we really need to be having this conversation right now, like, at this part? <laughs> so I like childishness definitely goes like oh, overboard sometimes <laughs> with like, okay, hey, you're like 16 or whatever, but she acts like he's like six. Hey, man. Yeah. She's sh- sh- sheltered, all right, with a strict mom. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like when that line broke out, like, I actually paused it and I whipped up my note, like, my notes, and I was like, I cannot forget <laughs> this part. <laughs> you, this, it bothered you so much that you had to pause yeah. your entertainment yeah. and write this down. Yeah. yeah, and I like how, like, right after that, too, um, he, like, he, he was, he said, was like, well, it's kind of late. I'm already on the plane. I was like, there we are. <laughs> I was like, why, again, like, this part didn't need to be happening in this, or this part of the conversation, and I just thought it was, just, it was just dumb. Uh, I, I, it was just another part too. Like I kind of wish where, I, I guess I kept thinking like you know why does he really need to be going with her? Where like the whole thing about her arc was basically supposed to be where you know she was supposed to be, um, kind of like more I guess confident. It was supposed to be uh, where well, she was like, really supposed to believe in herself in a sense. But like the whole scene on the roof, it's like it felt like she didn't even get over that. She started crying a lot, but she still yeah like, yeah not nothing really like, over yeah. it. Yeah, so, like a lot of these things that. Much... I don't know how much she's really solving here. Like she's still like pissy about it. So nah. yeah, it's just, it's been feeling just really weird. Like a lot of these things that you, know, you would think there would be some sort of character development with her, it's not really happening. Sadly, uh, or they're or they're or the the author's just not doing it. in, in a... I I mean the, the the growth is still there. Don't don't get me wrong. Like it's still the story about this girl who faced some kind of tragedy and she's supposed to grow from it, right? But just the way that they're approaching it, though, I just don't really enjoy it. Like yeah. their approach. Um, right. and then, like you said, I thought it was pretty funny that she mentioned that like halfway <laughs> on the trip. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Right? He's getting kind of sloppy, I guess. Um, yeah. And then uh, with everything that's going on, it, a lot of things don't make sense if you really think about it. 
granted, this is an anime. None of this should be taken real. That's Do not true. pick up a random yeah. girl you see on the street. You know, whatever. Um, but, you know, like, her brother finally got her to come back. And she lets uh, Yoshida come with them. They, they make it to a school. She lets Yoshida and his little sister go out at nighttime for a couple hours. And, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it doesn't seem very realistic. Yeah. And then when she finally makes it back to the home and she gets slapped, I'm just like, oh my God, this is not going to end well. I, I like not, not just this situation, but just the series in itself. I just have a feeling that it's not going to end well. And I just pray to God she just doesn't like run away from it again. Like in a sense yeah, where I like mean... everything's, everything's kind of sorted out. Yoshida goes back home and it either like, she runs away and meets up with Yoshida again, or... Um, I don't think they have enough time in this season. Like, nothing that's really like, happens. That's, like, the only thing we can be hopeful for. It's, like, there's no time to do more trauma. Yes, so things right here, right time now. Skips. Oh, time, skips. <laughs> time skips. Time skips. Time skips to cover all. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, God. But, yeah, it's just... it's It had so much potential. I don't know what went wrong. It's just... It, yeah, it's been kind of downhill ever since. Uh, I mean, the last you know, weeks, I'm just blaming the writer here, so yeah, forcing his characters to do things. This is a rent a girl mm -hmm. issue. <laughs> yeah, and like this isn't the end. Of, this isn't covering the end of the the, the source material, right? So there's still stuff that's going to happen, of course. Well, but fifth, I don't understand how you're going to end up on this. The fifth volume just end just came out what, like a couple weeks ago, and that's the last volume. So mm. right, but it's not like this next week's episode is going to cover like. Like, I guess, left. Yeah, yeah. This season, I'm sure it doesn't cover all of that, right? Maybe it's volume two, three, maybe at most. So uh, there's I, awkward, I have no I idea. Know, just, no. such an awkward thing. I, I thought that's why they cut the ex girlfriend thing from Yoshida because they want to fit more of that final volume. Yeah, well, right. well, that seems kind of weird, then, right? If you had plans of it being a longer show or getting a second season, then mm -hmm. you would think that you wouldn't cut, you know, right. more of that background. So. Yeah, you cut like Yoshida's whole like uh, one of his like it sounds like a major arc. Um, I thought Classy Ulysses yeah. was also saying too like it's uh, I thought it was coming to the end, wasn't it? Or is it basically yeah, yeah, going no, the, 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 the source? Ended, yeah, it just ended with a fifth light yeah. novel came out a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, source materials. Yeah, for sure. Right. Um, okay. well, but I can see I was... him wrapping it up then potentially. I don't know. But how? I don't see it's how you're gonna... half baked ending. Yeah. Well, just, like... <laughs> Well, they could have done real life as well, where real life uh, they released, the web, you know, OVAs the afterwards. Web, yeah, the web OVAs. Stop yeah. it! Yeah. Stop <laughs> it, Strain! Stop, stop saying that. Yeah. Yeah. That, show hurt, that show hurt me, man. I had to go and read the the manga and no, everything for that to get my. Yeah, yeah it doesn't end well, all right. <laughs> just, just, yeah, with yeah, with well, I mean, they did the OVA yeah, poor because they cut out major arcs. The manga so that, that was, was that good. was dumb. <laughs> oh, the manga was really. I actually, I really liked the, the manga. No. Oh God. But anyway, uh, yeah. we'll see how this shit goes. Yeah, you guys covered everything. I don't really have anything else to say other than to see where we go from the I slap. Mean, I was, yeah, I wasn't even expecting to watch this <laughs> show this this season, so I'm surprised. This I, is another one, yeah. I, same. Like, I kept up with it. So. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I just mentioned that line that Sayu brought up, and then that was really it, all that it, I really it wanted you to talk so about. Much, sir. You to, you <laughs> it it was your entertainment. It was just. I mean, it was just, it was so unnecessary and just stupid. <laughs> it, it was pretty dumb. I, I feel like, I mean, like I, I, feel what, like what, I cringe. What, okay. Let's just say, what would have happened if she just said, like, are you really going to come with me? And all of a sudden, he's just like, no, I was lying I this mean, whole just time. think about everything that had to lead up to them being on the plane. It's like, all right, bitch, we got in the car together. <laughs> we went to airport. We probably walked through security together. We probably sat at our damned gate. We got on the plane. And after all of these events, you wake up from your little nap and say, are you really coming with me? It's like, nah, you know. <laughs> no, I think the brother had the audacity to be like, hey, once we land, you can just take a flight back. I'm like, no, bitch, I'm already here. Why well, don't I go back now? All right? You yeah. might as well just finish this trip and do it right, you know? Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, I think this I The think brother this just whole... living, the, living the good life. You know, <laughs> business class, chauffeurs, like... Or he, who are just he faked he faked the whole uh, the whole airplane ride. They're actually they're actually going yeah. somewhere else. They're basically just doing like a just a circle back to where yeah, like, they're, where just they're circling. going. Yeah, <laughs> it's hey, man, it's somebody I, else that's piloting. Dude, that's a man. That's some flat earther shit right there. Hey, there you know, it is. There it, is. I, it would have been different. It would have been a very different ending then. Oh god, I would have given a few points for that. Anyway, all right, we'll see. Uh, how, we'll see how this ends. Yeah, we'll see. that's. Oh, actually, no, no, we'll see you later. Yeah, so that'd be it for Hige Hero for this week. On to our next show.
Uh, you guys want to talk about I'm a spider, so what? Not, Another not really. show that pisses me off. Not oh, really, oh my god. Honest. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just, I just want to. Wow. Nothing happened. Like, li like there was no progression of answers or like really anything. Late in the season for nothing to be happening. Yes. Right now. <laughs> I don't. Basically. <sighs> like honestly, I don't really have much to say. It's like we had more of the fight between you know Hugo and uh, Shun, and then we had um. You know, vampire girl step in and do her thing, but it's like we're not getting answers to anything. Apparently, like, elves, the elves have mechs, apparently. Oh, so oh yes, so, how could I forget? Supposing so, so, so so I'm like, yeah, so <laughs> unleash, the, unleash the elf mechs. It's like, the what? It's like, dude, the elf like, mechs. <laughs> like this, this, this episode just completely ruined the series for me. Like, I don't know what to wow. think. You got, yeah, you got, it's you got so Potimus, bad. You got Potimus teleporting into like this. Like high tech surveillance room where like all these it's other elves are, center, yeah. yeah, it's command center to like survey and like just uh, like uh, just watch over what's happening over the battlefield, and then all of a sudden Portimus is like release all the units, and then like it, it pans out to like these mechs, I guess, and then all of a sudden you got elves yeah. teleporting <laughs> these giant like 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 tanks or whatever like mech tanks yep. out, yep. and apparently uh apparently in the world of magic. Like machinery is too strong because yeah, uh, it's not affected by any magic or anything. Yeah, the vampire chick just one v eight the the heroes party and she did just fine, but apparently like she can't handle like a, a few mechs. So, oh my god, I don't know what to do. I I, I like I don't know wow. what to think about the show anymore. It yeah. used to be so good, and then it just it, it just crossed that line where you just don't know what to make sense Sounds of anymore. Sounds like those uh those web novel amateur writers strike again. Uh it's just. I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunate, really. Like, they had something, and then it was one of those things where it's like, oh, more episodes is good. They're going to do stuff with those more episodes. And it's just like, mm -hmm. nope. I had, gonna, feel, I had a feel about this, too. Next. I know, right? yeah. You've been, you've been, you know, calling it over the last few episodes. It's just like, man, I have this bad feeling. We're not, you know, getting it's my head well. We're not getting <laughs> answers. And even like you know, you had this whole story part for me, and for me, mine was more so just the quality of stuff being shown. It's just like they've just gone full CG the last like two and a Dude, half episodes. It's, I'm just it's, like, kind of, it's almost like X arm level uh, stuff. To exactly. Be honest. Like I don't. Uh, oh, it's it hurts. so bad. It hurts, man. We were oh, in for the long haul, and now it's like I don't. Here. I don't know. I don't we're know how here. they're gonna do. I don't know how they're gonna do the next episode. Like. Same thing with Higa Hero and in this other show. I don't know how they're gonna end it like with, with proper closure. I, I just don't see it. Is there only one episode left? Yeah, yeah, next yeah. week's the next well, last episode. I mean, it's, My God. it's a long running web novel series, so they have plenty of material to go go by. That's not yeah, like but they burned they burned us so badly in these first twenty four where it's like, like it, do we really wanna yeah. if they chose nothing to do? Well it's like that's what happened to these Isekais, man. It's just like the writers just strike forever because it's it's free, man. Free real estate. Yeah. So. True. True. I don't know how this show got 24 episodes. Like, with how they're ending it, I have no idea why they gave them 24 episodes to work with. Isekai. Easy money. And people are There's plenty it. of other Isekais that deserve more, to be honest. Um, well, this, this one I, I just like, don't see it. This one is, like, fairly popular on, like, web novels somehow. Like, it gets, mm. it's, like, a lot of views, so... Hmm. I, mean, I I get that. I'm sure I'm sure the source material is great, right? That's why I got the anime in the first place. But just the adaptation of it, horribly done. Just yeah, ah, yeah. I cannot wait for the show to end. <laughs> just I we'll see what happens next. Hero. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just see what happens next week. Like, in all honesty, man, God, it was it, it was a roller coaster for sure these past two seasons. But I'm so glad it's going to end. I'm done. I'm so done with the show. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Okay. So we tried. So, we tried. We tried. Right? Just, <laughs> all so, right. So just like who said, we are done with this show. We're done with Amos first, so what? And that is like all our major shows we were talking about. So if anyone wants to give any shout outs, feel free to do it right now. I have two shows. Mm -hmm. Um first one I'll I'll start with the next gen full dive. It's uh I mean, I kind of expected this, I guess, in a sense, just only because they they made it sound like it's supposed to be really hard to complete this, mm -hmm. and and the, the, I kind of felt like that they, they, for some reason he had to do something sketchy, 
Mm -hmm. uh, almost, and it basically sounds like uh, they were was the goblins are actually not evil; they're actually nice, unless you mm -hmm. like provoke them, and they're basically just like provoking it to really keep people in the town and not leave right. the town, which is just you know some bullshit. So that it kind of like makes sense too, like where if anybody even mentioned leaving the town, that you were pretty much in just deep shit. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that though, I guess I really don't have many more thoughts. I, I, uh, I, I, I'm. It, this is another one of the shows where I just want to finish. I like. I don't. I don't think it's good. Any of the any of the, like this like the the parts that I that I thought were like really like at the beginning where it was like, really funny. Now yeah. they're it's almost like forcing. They, like they're trying to force the comedy way too many like way too much and too many like too many moments where it's just and they're, they're the same things over and over again too. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, was there something you wanted to say? No, I just oh, uh, no, I, yeah. oh uh, I I just I definitely thought that this show had more potential. Um, Same. but yeah, unfortunately, they went this route. Um, I I did think that it wasn't going to be uh, what was it Tesla? That was going to be evil. I thought it was going to be like the governor chick. That was that was going to be evil. Um, but I'm predicting that the reason why he went from a 0.1% chance of surviving to 0.05 or whatever, like it increased, was because he befriended some of the guards. So hopefully the guards come by and help him kill Tesla and the governor. But uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they, they have to pull some shit out of their ass though because uh, Tesla's like, I mean, he's crazy OP. Yeah, he's way too strong. A, sure. I mean, well, it's a, it's gonna be some, I don't know. So we'll see how it happens, but it's gonna be some. Just I'm gonna guess it's gonna be some kind of really cringy comedy, comedy moment that they're yeah, that he's just that's yeah that's basically how this mm -hmm. show kind of just pulls stuff you know out of uh, you know wherever. So we'll yeah. I don't know we'll see. It's what well, I think what one episode left next mm -hmm. ep yeah, yeah next episode is the final one so we can get out of this one. But I really don't have much more to say about it. Damn, it's kind of a depressing week, man. You're all just like ready for these shows to end by next week. Yeah, like a lot of these, like they after the week was depressing. After the week, <laughs> after the week, yeah. yeah. The other, the other half was uh, it was depressing because the show was actually ending and it was a good. Mm. Um, and then my last shout out I actually have uh, is for Zombieland Saga Revenge. Uh, I actually teared up this last episode, mm -hmm. and like the Zombieland Saga is actually. Of all the shows I'm watching this season, is actually my second favorite show, uh, behind Megalobox. It's uh, it's 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 getting really good. Uh, so I, so David, whenever you, if you do actually continue or watch it, um, I, or if anybody here watches it, I actually would like to kind of just get your thoughts on it because it's. I, I feel like this one's like a lot more in depth than the first season. This one's it's going like it's going the backstory is kind of like more kind of like it was it's serious stuff with the, like their with the group. Um, I'll try to refrain from spoiling too much, David. Um, I don't. But, yeah, I just don't know. I'm like, I'm just really busy work, so I don't know. If I have, like watch much more anime besides. These, no worries. So. I can I can spoil stuff next week then, <laughs> at the end because there's one episode <laughs> left, so I can kind of do like, a little bit more of a breakdown because I think because next week we'll be uh, we'll have quite a few less shows, so uh, I can go mm -hmm. a little bit more in depth in Zombieland. But if anybody, if any, I don't know if any uh, Justin or Ku, if you guys are interested at all. But it's, uh, I mean, it's like the one idol show I probably would ever watch, and it's not even. It's uh, the, like the first season. I thought it was solid. It was fine. Second season, though, it's it's much much better. Okay. But anyway, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, Maybe. I'll talk more about it. I'll go more in depth about it next week. Sounds good. And that's really all I have for shoutouts. You think we have last shows next week? Because I thought that we still have a lot, a bunch of. Uh... Actually, I guess we did have a decent amount of like finales this week. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I like Vivi's gone. Week. Yeah, Vivi's gone. Um, uh, was, is Moriarty done? No, no. one okay. more. And then 86, done. So eighty six will technically still be around because we'll have the special. Yeah, we'll have the special. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Mushroom yeah, Alto is done. Yeah, so Brandon we'll... Kabadi's done. Yeah, so we have a few that's yeah. done. Okay. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see if it, for some reason if we go too long next week. Then I'll just kind of like. Go really quick over some of the stuff that like, happened then, and just oh, spoil no. the shit out of it. So. Oh, so <laughs> but anyway, all right. So that's going to be end of our show. So we're in for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Always been a blast. Thanks, everyone. I uh, mean, just I think it's just Johan today. So thanks, Johan, for thanks, Johan. The chat. Thanks, Johan. Yep. Thanks, sir. Thanks for uh, shout out to the panel for joining me. Always fun. We had 
lot of interesting conversation this week. Kind of depressing how, how yeah. much you guys wanted these shows to end, but yeah. That Hopefully happens, next man. season will be better. That's that's the thing with these. You gotta have the seasonals. bad with the good. I mean, yeah. to be yeah. fair, we had a lot of shows this season, so just a, you know, just a few of them. One, the ones so, yeah, that are actually depressing. Spring is it's not that bad. was surprising because we knew winter was stacked, but then like spring was like surprisingly stacked. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Un- a bunch of unknowns. So a lot of unknown, yeah. like fairly solid shows, and some of them just whimpered out. Yeah, and then summer looks lighter, so good time. Get your backlogs ready. Gintama, here I come. <laughs> oh god <laughs> we'll see but, that's gonna be a long shot yeah. uh, we're in here for now and we'll see you next week bye bye, bye. bye.